Hi. Hi, Chase. Hi, Corey. Hey, hey Corey. I thought Hollywood was going to be a little different than this. <laughs> this is a little more pump up the volume than I was anticipating. <laughs> pump up the volume. What is that? That's Christian Slater. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Talk hard, bro. It was a good movie. Yeah, it was like the first podcast. Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from Death Squad Studios here at the Ice House in Pasadena, California for a new episode of Death Squad Chronicles. Uh, today is Nintendo Day. Uh, I have mine right here in my pocket. Do you have yours in your pocket, uh, Mr. Spicer? No, mine is in its... I'm not as irresponsible as oh. you. Mine's in its little travel case right oh. next to me. Oh. Well, I, you want me to whip what? it out? Yeah. So so much much to with did, this, you yeah. The, uh, did you get the uh, colored one? Or, yeah. Oh, look no, at you. Yeah. Stack black on black. I like camera. that. Yeah. I got the Josh Martin, which <laughs> is <laughs> yeah. a 1980s looking... <laughs> I, one thing about the colored one is it's... Such awkward colors to choose. It's not just like a red and a blue. It's like a creepy red. And They're a pastels. Blue. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pastels. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, we'll get right into that. But let's first announce everyone. Uh, Christian Spicer is here. How are you doing, sir? I'm. I'm doing. It's. Uh, I'm holding a, a new Nintendo console, playing a new Zelda game, and I'm in my mid 30s, and I got a new retainer. So it's uh, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> 15 wow, that again. just you screams. Think better than that, us? Just, that just screams no pussy right there. <laughs> yeah. I've been married for a long time too. So, oh, yeah, yeah, so, so there, yeah, there's no <laughs> pussy. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And that voice is Court McCowan. Welcome back, Court. Good to be here, my friend. You're Always not, good to be here. You're not into video games, are you? I'm not into video games. Were you ever? Um, I used to do the first, whatever the Nintendo were, their Super Mario. NES, classic. Uh, yeah, that was back when I smoked pot and drank. So I would, uh, yeah, I'd stay up till five, six in the morning doing that. And that just went away someday. Yeah, well, yeah, it just did. I, I think it just, now, I mean, I'm afraid to get into it now. Because yeah. I'm afraid I would like, I, I, I was dating this girl and for Christmas, she begged me, we lived together and she begged me like, I want to get a Wii. Because it's got the Wii Fit, and you know, I bought her the fucking the board, the yoga, the whole thing, and it. Yeah, I think twice it was used twice. Yeah, and that's it. And uh, but the golf game on it was fantastic. Bowl, I like the bowling game on that. That was yeah. a lot of fun, but, and that was a lot of fun for a system launch. And I can't wait to get into that because the Wii U is actually really fun. Yeah, I mean, it, that's kind of thing. I liked it because it wasn't like you didn't have to sit there and push a button. It was like you actually moved and you did stuff, so it was a little more interactive. Um, if that's the right, is that the right word? Okay. Yeah. Interactive, yeah. So that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but that that's the only one I ever really liked. And then she moved out and, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm taking my balance board. No, she actually, no, she left it there. Her they, parents found her. Yeah, and yeah her parents <laughs> found her. They came and got her. They, they, yeah. The wanted post. Somebody saw one of the wanted pictures that were up. So somebody had a milk carton with her picture on it. Speaking of milk cartons, Jason Kongs, welcome to Death Squad. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's my first time. Yeah, oh, for nice. Death Squad Sherry here. I can't believe that I haven't had you on here. For some reason, I've thought I had you on. I booked so many people here. I don't even remember who has been on and who has. Good thing been. I ran into you the other night. Yeah, and I had a drink in me and said, you know, I've never done your show, man. <laughs> Want to do a Friday? I was like, oh, oh, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> that's how it works. That's, that's, I love that's it. That's how. Hollywood goes. You gotta ask. People Speaking of Hollywood, Jason Rouse is here. Uh, <laughs> hello, Brian. The anti-Hollywood right there, my friend. Oh, I'm just trying to fit in this town. You know? Oh, fuck you are. <laughs> the fuck you are. Yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to simulate. You're trying to fit in this town in 1986. I am I'm trying thinking. to just slide in under the radar. Now, have you, have you guys played video games? Were you guys into video games? I was. I was. You know, I got out at GoldenEye. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I, I still uh, go to arcades that do the kind of coin video games and stuff. That was cool about New York. There was a few places that yeah. we'd go into and play video games. But I knew when I started to see the commercials and they look like movie trailers, I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, yeah, man. Because like, I remember being in college and like yeah. we, had, we had a centipede. 
We had Defender. Centipede was hard. Centipede was hard unless you did a shit ton of blow. And, if, <laughs> and I used to do. I, I used to do so much. I used to play the eighties. I told you, man. Yeah, no, this was the late seventies, man. And I would get into. I got so fucking into Centipede and blow. Rip. That, Were you playing the flat one that you could do? No, the off stand the, table? the stand up one. The stand up. We would just. That's the limousine. We would just have guys do put keys up under our nose while we're playing it. <laughs> But it was so, I got so into it that I would like be up at like five in the morning pinning from the night before, you know, all being up all night and centipede would be going in my head. Yeah. Things would be going. It's a stroke. You're having a stroke. Yeah, I was. I had a couple of those after that, but. Calling said, you get into it? That's why I wouldn't, I had to stop playing video games because that, I would be playing the video game in my head. Yeah. When I'm not playing the damn video game. You understand, I'm. Kind of, we're the same generation, you know. Yeah. Pitfall and and oh, yeah. you know, remember track and field? Yeah. Where you had to hit the I used that yeah. pencil. Yeah. With the and pencil. You, 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 I used the ruler. The oh, ruler got you a little yeah. bit more action. You put a ruler in there. Da, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, but uh, it's like you said, as soon as it became a movie, I just me now me and yeah. Christian, we 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 didn't do this. No. Uh, I, I've definitely gone through parts <laughs> of my life where I have ups and downs in video games. I would say every six months I stopped playing for like three months four months hmm. it's kind of like a season <laughs> uh, so, so is something big happened in home video games is this what we're witnessing yeah, so here t- Nintendo released their new system today and okay, if, if, so you, this is if people Spicer waiting. if you want to show them like the, the idea of the controllers it looks sweet yeah. it looks it looks slick well I mean this this is definitely where technology has made a huge bump because now you have like you've got a track thing on there, you've got yeah. all this different stuff, yeah, and it's and you've got a lot of fingerprints on there, which would freak me out already. But like so I, this is did those ends come off? This whole thing, so you can play like this, and it's kind of like a Game Boy or you know portable yeah. thing. But you can also then there's a dock you have at home that you can slide it in, mm-hmm. and then oh, it puts wow. the game on your big TV, and you can play. And then if you want these little guys, is it all plastic? Or is it metal too? Come off. There's, it's metal it, to it. Also. Yeah, it feels pretty. Sturdy. It feels very solid. And then it you just can. Looks like it, it busts I mean, the opinion. I'm already, know, I'm already confused. And then now you have two controllers. So now you have your. Oh so shit! You can play okay. Some games like this. Oh, I no see. And kind way. of get going and play. And, and just out no. of curiosity, what does something like this cost now? Two ninety nine, unless you're buying what? Brian's second one on eBay. Two ninety nine. That's it. That's not bad. Uh, that's not bad at all. It's no. not bad. Like this thing isn't the most technically power intensive, graphically impressive console on the market. But the way that I was playing the new Zelda game at home, and I was like, "Oh shit, I got to get to the ice house," and then brought it with me, mm-hmm. is is pretty fucking incredible. Well, it's, see, it's I mean, a as, a, as a comic, we have a lot of downtime right. backstage waiting. You know, you're waiting for the next guy to go on. You're waiting, and I I do play I do play Angry Birds. Yeah, like I'm a <laughs> fucking yep. I'm a fucking yeah. I'm, I've I'm dipped into that pool I'm, myself. I'm a king of Angry Birds. I just passed level thousand, one thousand. <laughs> All right, that's not a real video game. So. <laughs> One quote. Hey, hey. I mean, the, yeah, the, big, yeah, the big, the big, the big thing is to say that the, the, the selling point is <laughs> that you can put the, this thing is your video games. This is your Xbox. This is your PlayStation. So you're playing this like a game on your big screen. You're putting it in there your pocket, go. and then you are going. Yeah, that's is it pretty touch much screen too. It's touch Earlier screen. Earlier, when you asked me if I wanted to is, have a go at that, I thought you were playing a game on your phone. I had no idea that this was that. Yeah. Is, it, is there a memory card? Like, can you uh, <laughs> yeah. store video on it? I. It that's have... there's now there's a lot of issues. I've already had. Oh, a here lot we of, go. Here we go. There's a lot of problems with it. This USB. is absolutely the worst system launch of any video game system I've ever. Uh-oh. I've had them all. Wow. There's only like a handful of games. Which is a huge problem. There's and one game. There's Zelda. There, there's Zelda. It's <laughs> the main game. Let me see. Why? Christian, so yeah, place. Yeah. Let's see. I'm just curious to see what this looks like. Go. So place. Like go into. Well, it here's a here's a good example. If you just look at the TV right now, uh, this is the the biggest complaint I have. It's not that powerful yeah. of a system. This is the Wii U. This, okay, yeah, the, the Zelda on the Wii U compared to the Switch. Now, it's going back and forth, so you can kind of see the differences of the graphics. But if you notice, there's not really any differences in the graphics. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not powerful. It's a not that powerful of a this system. This is the first cell phone in its field. It's about, uh, it's about as strong as the system that was released five years ago. Mm-hmm. Now, that's not saying Nintendo ever was the most powerful yeah, system. Yeah, I was going to say, they're not really but anything. But you can and, take it with you. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. That's it's the a big truly thing. portable Wii U. It, yeah, and it the, the, it only comes with 32 gigabytes of onboard <laughs> memory. So if you try to download, say, like this Zelda game, you just filled your whole entire <laughs> oh, memory no, up. That sounds oh, like so, a terrible idea. So you have a 
card. I don't know why they stuck with a mini SD card, huh. but you can upgrade your memory to uh, using micro SD. I'm sorry. Yeah. And that yeah. goes up, I think, 256 gigabytes of memory, but that's all you can do. So you're just going to have multiple memory cards and, and shit like that to deal with. So that's, a, in my, my opinion, it's a huge pain in the ass for that. Uh, also, I, a lot of people, I don't like the controllers. Uh, I thought I was going to like the controllers. The, these little controllers, uh, when you have them off, they're like little baby controllers. And now you have this thing where you can put both of them on to this like middle piece, like an adapter, and it's kind of more like a normal controller. There's the lineup right there, uh, ladies. If you, uh, Let me ask you a quick question. Yeah, no, yeah. So, so like when you, like let's say you take this, like you're somebody out there. What does this do like to like an Xbox or, um, or a PlayStation? Is this anything even, now I know they're not portable, but I'm just saying, you know, they're about the same price. Yeah, well, it's a totally different. It's to if different people play, are buying it. If you want to play Nintendo games, you get this one. If you want to play and everything else. Everything else. <laughs> but would you, would you guys, it sounds like a, a, the specs are pretty weak. They yeah. are pretty weak. Yeah. So why would you guys jump into the pool? The because if you want, if you play, like he just said, if you play Nintendo games, there's no other option. You have to go in. That's, what the, that's kind of what they're smart about. You know what I mean? Because they're it's not obsolete. It, they, it's it's yeah. kind of like Apple. If you want an Apple, you're not you're getting an Apple. You and know? they make some of the best games. Like yeah. this Zelda game is getting like some of the best reviews of any game ever. It's kind of called like the you know the best version of one of the best game franchises oh, yeah. it, ever. It got rated ten. This new Mario game, first time taking place in a city with it's human gone. beings. So what? you're gonna be Mario. See, I played a little of this because of my kids, but. Yeah, check this out. It's uh, too 3D, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be pissing in a bottle. See, and this, even though even though this <laughs> isn't that used to do, isn't yeah. that good of graphics. <laughs> Wait, this isn't that good of graphics compared to the other systems. It's still Jeez. Nintendo knows how to work with it, and they they know how to they they're masters of textures, they're masters of everything else. I mean, wow, uh, this looks like a lot of fun. Now you would think, if you have a new system. You would have a new Mario game. This game doesn't even come out till when, Spicer? You even know? They've said this year, but I uh, I don't know what I'll do if it makes this year. I, I, there's no way it comes out this year. Yeah. There's no way. You don't it think it comes out this year? I'm no. thinking Christmas. You don't think? That's their goal, but I just don't think it's going to happen, knowing Nintendo. But see, I'd the, love one, to be but wrong. the cool thing about this in a certain way is, is it's not... Like, you know, you get these video games now, Call of Duty, all these other things, and, it, and it's just a little bit... It's not a video game anymore. I mean, it is, but you know what I mean. It's like you're. Sure. Re it, it really gets into it's some the serious VR shit. crossover. Yeah, it's some serious shit. This this has got a little like I could still like, like smoke pot and do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Nintendo I mean, does it well. Like this yeah. is a mushroom game. Well, so, you know, <laughs> I, I guess what you can say is that Nintendo's still kind of for kids and adults that grew up with Nintendo that would know how to play this. Now, if I was like a forty year old that wanted to get into video games and I've never played video games before, I probably would not like this shit. Really? I probably would like the Call of Duties. And well, that. I think you would well, just like your phone. Yeah. Like, on, if you never got into games, like my in-laws... Angry Birds. My, yeah, my in-laws all play word <laughs> games on their I phone. I love Angry Birds, It's, man. it's, wow. a, it's I'll, a hit I'll, for I'll a go, reason. I'll go what a way to find out, huh, guys? I'll, I'll, go head head to head, I'll go head to head with anybody on Angry Birds. <laughs> my go-to is Solitaire. I'm sorry, Solitaire. Guys. I got that one, too. I do that one when I'm out of lives on my fucking Angry Birds. There you go. I heard David Cho's got the biggest Angry Birds score or did have for quite some time. Really? Bring, yeah. bring on David Cho. <laughs> bring on David Cho. I would love to see that. I think Court's the champ. I think he, he's got the confidence, that's for sure. Yeah, I fucking, I'm, da I'm, I'm into it. Um, yeah. Um, uh, no, I don't have a lighter. I'm sorry. Now, one thing that I did, does. one thing I also didn't like is because when you take off all these controllers, you have so many parts and pieces. Yeah. Yeah. So like when you take off this controller, there's a little button and it slides off. You, all, you then have like a piece that slips on here for your, your, your arm wrist. Then if you want to make it a controller, you have another piece. There's so many pieces. I'm not a fan of that. I really, I'm, I would say that this is probably, if Nintendo ever was to fail, this would be the system that brought them down. Well, let wow. me ask you then, just out of curiosity, why buy it then? Uh, I've bought every single system <laughs> since I was no, no, a kid. Okay, when you okay. say, and, yeah, I, and I'm okay. buying this for just Mario, just Link, just okay. a few. When titles. you say okay. every system, just in Nintendo, or you like Xbox, PlayStation, all that stuff? Every single system ever made. See, I've, I've Except bought, Atari I've Jaguar. Bought, I've bought them, but I never used them. <laughs> yeah, oh, you I, bought them. You, yeah, that kid I, in you buys them. I buy them for my, for my, I bought them for my kids. Oh, okay. But now they're grown. Mm-hmm. So I don't even know if they know my 
Well, I'll buy them all off you. For free. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I, pl- I lugged probably a large part of my youth playing Atari 2600. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I have all that still. I have all well, you my know Atari. the coolest thing is they used well, to have, cool. they had these oh. bar they had a, opened a bar in Vegas called uh, uh, Insert Coins. And what it was is it had a bar in the center, and then all around, all yeah. across, all throughout the whole walls were the old, old video games. Yeah, they still like, have those. They yeah. still, you know, it, it's one of the coolest concepts ever, I think, for a bar. Now, they also have little booths where you can sit down and play Xbox, or you can cool. play PlayStation, or whatever. Hmm. But then on the outside, they have Centipede, they have Atari. I mean, they have... See, that's uh, where I'd be spending my they, time. They have, like... Galaga. They have every. They have every game that ever existed. Is that was a coin there? operated. I don't think so. There's a great place in L.A. Shout out to Button Mash, which is in Echo Park. It's kind of the same thing. What Literally. a great uh, idea! I've heard about that. It's awesome. They I've have good like that. craft beer, like Asian fusion food. A lot of the retro stuff. And then right? a lot of the retro yeah. stuff. It's really cool. Wait, Just, start to show off. You might want to go in because he's only doing three minutes. Oh, is he on right now? Oh uh, no, I'm about to start it right now. Though. Oh okay. Uh, and you're bringing up court. So court. Okay. Uh, All right, my friend. Cool. Um, but yeah, but I mean, I think like I think those kinds of ideas are great because what it does on one sense is now everything like you, you and the funny part was is you never see anybody sitting down in the booth playing the the sure. playing the Xbox or what they would stick to playing the cool old games because not just the nostalgia of it because most of them were too young to be around when right. when they were out <laughs> yeah but just the kind of the simplicity of it. Yeah, and I think that yeah. that's that's where I get lost in the way that the stuff's made now is it's it's too deep. Well, and the it's home, overwhelming. The home yeah. games aren't really meant to be played in bite sized chunks like that. Like if I were at a bar, I wouldn't want to sit down and play Call of Duty. I want to sit down and play Call of Duty when I have three hours to sit down and play Call of Duty. Whereas like if there's a Galaga machine. And I've got a couple of quarters. Yeah, that's awesome, right? You yeah, can sit perfect. down, waste yeah. some time, drink a beer, hang out with friends. You don't want to be like, hey, guys, let's go to the bar. Now yeah. let's play The Last of Us. Get the fuck yeah. away from me. I've got yeah. 10 hours to dive into yeah. this. And I, think, and I think that's the big difference, I think, is, is why these – I think you see guys that, like, get into these things, and then they're in, and it's like right. 10 <laughs> hours of their fucking day is gone. Yeah. And I think that's why you see – and I'm not knocking anybody, but I'm saying it's why you see people that, that – the pro- productivity of their lives just disappears. It's socially retarded. Socially retarded. Well, that's everything, though, right? I mean, I think it's easy to scapegoat video games because that, but like, there are so many opportunities to not actually interact with people, be it Tinder, be it uh, Facebook, be it Twitter, oh, be it video games, be it... I interact with girls on Tinder. I mean, it's like I usually have to go to their web page and they want some money yeah, yeah, to yeah. watch How them. many roses? How many roses? You fucking peddling It's like cunts. I'm at the point now on Tinder where I go, are you a whore? Because if you are, just set the, set the price. Are you and a let's, whore, Yeah, let's just quit, let's quit dangling this back and forth. Do you what? want? Why are you do, asking? You, do you want money? Okay, that's okay. I'm okay if you do, but just say you want money and let's get beyond this. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just want to know the truth. I want to know. I don't want to know the truth. I want him to lie a little. Just, just that perfect just, amount. But just, I, but it's like you get this whole conversation for you know for a week. That's like you know like little teasing, no. and then the next one is like, and you're like you're getting kind of hopes up, and then all of a sudden it's like, well, hey, go. To, this is you know. Go age verify yourself. Yeah. Age verify? I'm fucking yeah. 52, bitch. Th- yeah. This is all the verification you need. I'm old, you know? I've so, been uh, blocked oh, on Grinder for making lewd remarks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting one of his cigarettes. <laughs> I loved, uh, I had a chance to play a little Joust. Did you yeah. ever play Joust? Fuck yeah. It's very difficult. It is. A lot of those games, because those games were meant to take your money. Like, it's that fine line of having enough fun that you wouldn't just walk away from yeah. it. But at the end of the day, it's like they want to get another quarter from how you. How much science was behind that? I don't understand how they test for this kind of new market. Like, you know, obviously, games like Pac-Man and, uh, and Qbert, there was a lot of uh, patterns, yeah. if I remember. I don't even know if that's the common jargon, but yeah, we yeah, used to yeah. call it patterns. So you would know... Uh, Dragon Slayer was that was oh that, that was a hit, pretty cool game yeah. Yeah. it was insane there was lineups kids were <laughs> fucking firing money into that thing it was insane yeah you it was the, like a rock star had showed up right in our shopping mall yeah well I think all those games were like that even when talk even go back to Galaga it's like you could get you got to a certain point Galaga and then you would and then if you you lost your life and you were kind of far along in it then you'd have to insert more money to keep yes. going. 
And that was. And I was like, there. You have your quarters all piled up in the glass. Yeah, you'd have your <laughs> you'd have your quarters in the glass, and you would like, and you would have somebody like, you know, and if for any reason you had to piss or something, you go, okay, yeah, yeah, you yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, you have yeah. to fucking wait, and somebody don't look at me. Don't yeah, 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 and you would just have someone stand there. You get a cloak over yeah, half your yeah. face. And, ah! Yeah. And so, like, that was kind of the thing is you would you would do all that shit. And now, I mean, now you've got everything's kind of a home base game now. Yeah. Right? More or less. Yeah. And then, but now you said, like, you've got this portable one, but it's still, in a, some sense, is a home base game. Right. Mm. And another, I, I really have a problem with, I, I, th- I know why they released it without all the games and all that stuff, because E3, when it's their AVN of video games. Is like next month or two months. I like months. the way your audience relates to AVN. <laughs> that, that, that's the analogy. You right. made. <laughs> but it, it's it, they wanted to get it out first because this is the year of VR, virtual reality, and PlayStation has already released theirs. It's been crazy successful. Everyone I know has it now. Xbox. This is supposed to be when Xbox releases their new system update. Uh, which is going like their pro version, which is going to be a little bit beefier Xbox One, but they're going to also release their VR this year. And it I is th- the rumors. Yeah, uh, there. Uh, I uh, there's been some shit happening in that department, Brian. Yeah. Where? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can. Uh, yeah. What's going on over there? Well, there's just been a bunch of rumors and things I can say that I've heard and everything. That's the thing for how long in the chain things need to start happening to get manufacturing done shit changes so quickly but they've been struggling to get something out in the in a vr form in one way or another that can work with the console and it seems like they have something lined up now but they've, they've also when the xbox one came out they had prototype they had boxes actual retail boxes made and prototyped that were going to be bundled Sorry, I have my stupid retainer <laughs> bundled. That would be bundled with VR back the science then. class sucks. Like, uh, also, <laughs> and remember, we have a test on Friday, you guys. So, so, uh, they've been trying for a while. Right. It never it kind of <laughs> has never come together for them. So. I, but do you, do you, I wish, you know, if Xbox was like if smart about it, since it's a Windows-based platform right. and PlayStation's not, why doesn't... Why doesn't they? Why don't they just like say, "Hey, you can use the Vive on Xbox"? Well, they've been trying to say, "Hey, you can use the Oculus." Or <laughs> Oculus, really? Yeah, oh, it just no. hasn't. Uh, hasn't I heard happened. Oculus might have to stop selling their stuff pretty soon. Is VR the coolest thing ever, though? It really is. Dude, it's pretty it works, impressive. It's crazy. I saw it at the AVNs, it's and crazy. when I put those glasses on, it was it was. I got it. I want to try it. I'm gonna, Ribbon. I'm gonna come over to your place one day. I want to play VR because yeah, I want to try it. I want to. I just really want to see it. It was like having really that is. wire put in the back of your head. The Matrix. <laughs> yeah. But I think. But to me, to me, that seems a little more. I mean, it, it seems like because you know, like you're talking about all the buttons, it's so difficult. It seems like VR would be easier. When it works, it really is because a lot of them have what they call touch controls, where it's like your hands are in the space and you. Yeah. It's kind of intuitive. It's as to very what you're impressive. Doing. It's and very it, impressive. It's pretty cool. Then the hard part about it is because it, it feels so real, even now at like the quote unquote worst it will ever be. Right. You'll be like at a virtual bar, and you're like you'll go to lean your arm on the table, but there's oh, no yeah, fucking table, yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah. oh, son of a very bitch. Very convincing. Yeah. It's crazy. And you, if you, you buy into it immediately. Yeah. Yeah. And if you play it too long, you definitely have post <sighs> VR where you think this real is not real. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, you oh, wow. get, like, yeah. You get the bends and yeah, some yeah. psychological. You really do. Did show start? Yeah, the show just started. Uh, Jason's probably just getting on stage right now. He's doing okay. 10. Okay. Uh, hopefully, there are other comics come here. I saw a bunch of comics come in. Well, I saw Stephanie Simbari, yeah. and I saw Jade. Yeah, and they just kind of left. Uh, but I guess they didn't want to talk about video games. This is exactly <laughs> why we got to quit playing video games, well, man. All right, let's so, rise so, up uh, vaginas. So to wrap it up, uh, what, what would you say? I mean, you've had almost every si- system launch, Spicer. Yep. I, I, uh, what would you say is your first impressions? And are, my, my first impressions are I'm not that happy with it i i think there's too many moving pieces i think there's too many things that are uh, like why can't i do bluetooth headphones right uh like there's a lot of like the memory shit i don't want to buy an, a micro sd card for 200 dollars when i just spent 350 dollars yep. on the system yep and yeah. like there's there's a lot of th- the store the store where usually it's like you get a new system you go like i can download some at least old games or there's anything like, yeah. there's nothing on there there's like five yeah. games on there that i don't want it didn't even launch with nintendo's virtual console like yeah. as a for me 
in particular, as a comic that goes on the road that loves video games, it's great. Just because I'll be playing Zelda on it, I'll take it with me, right. it's perfect. For the average gamer, even like the quote-unquote hardcore gamer, there is no reason to get this console right now. You can play Zelda on your Wii U. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is out on PS4 and is one of the best games I've ever played. Mm -hmm. Mass Effect is coming out in, what, two weeks? Right. There's so much good shit on the other consoles. There's no reason to get this other than we're all still baby boys and yeah. we love new technology, the same reason we all buy new iPhones yep. and all that shit. But yes, all the problems you mentioned about this console are very true. Uh, it's amazing, but also classic Nintendo, where you're just like, what the uh, fuck? It, I what think, the fuck? I think the only way for them to fix this system, they have to do it quick, is to make every single game on the Wii U playable on this. I think you get yourself a Betamax. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> It well, feels I, like a beta system, yeah. not just, a beta max. Yeah. 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 I'm, like I'm a beta tester. This sounds like something that you're going to see more and more parents buying for kids to play in the car. Sure. Just to have yeah, like you something. Could, you could already get a Game Boy, whatever, oh, see, for okay, 100 yeah, bucks. Yeah. That's, they're competing okay. against this yeah. still. They're competing yeah. against the phone. Yeah. They're competing Angry against Birds. themselves. Yeah. They're, right? they're competing against the Game Boy. They're, compete, they're killing themselves with this system. I am not happy with it. No, uh, like I it. give this system a 6 out of 10. Do not buy until it's more cooked. Well, then give it's, it a it's 2 raw. out of 10. It's Don't raw. give it a 6. Well, that'd be a 1 out of 5. Yeah. And his would be a 3 out of... Um, come on, let's do some math here, guys. We have a test on Friday, remember? Fuck that. I'm skipping school. <laughs> um, the only reason Zelda is so far is pretty fucking awesome. Zelda is incredible, but you can play Those it on quest the quest games go on and on and on and on. Yeah. It's like 50 Piss plus Piss in a hours. bottle games, as I call them. <laughs> um, now let's move on to something else. Uh, I, spicy chicken. Are you, are, you guys, are you guys into spicy food? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love spicy chicken. Chicken. Is it pain? Painfully hot. See this line right here? This is an hour before they open. There's a three hour line at all time from open to close right. until they, they go. Six months. There's it, a place in Nashville I went to and I can't remember the Hatties. I think it's called Hatties or something in Nashville. And they have hot wings that are hot as fuck. <laughs> well, let's let's take a look at this. So, <laughs> so this is Sean different. Evans. There's a very popular show from First We uh, First We Feast. It's called Hot. I'm ones. gonna go get on stage. I'll see you guys in a minute. It's, Be it's, back. A, it's a show that is ten chicken wings. Each chicken wing is oh, yeah. a little bit hotter, and in between each chicken wing, they ask you a question. <laughs> it's become very popular. Uh, like it's it's just blown the fuck up. Uh, so this is a sp uh, Sean Evans who does that show had a special edition of the, the, the show where I because uh, they they give you if you order a certain hotness. <laughs> By the way, Chelsea Skidmore is here. How are you doing, Hi, Chelsea? Good. How are you? Uh, we're just talking about this chicken. Uh, so they were wearing gloves, and when you get a, over a certain spice, they give you gloves. And uh, and I was like, I'm not going to wear gloves. Why do I need gloves? I'm a grown adult. Now I understand because it has an oil to it, and like after eating it, I washed my hands twice, <laughs> and then it was like three hours later. I just scratched my oh, eye; no. I couldn't see for an hour. Oh no! How was how was the exit? Uh, it was. I got home. Uh, I took a nap for an hour. Immediately, I had to take a nap because <laughs> it was Your it, system it, just it, shuts it down. fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I shit fire, and I thought I was going to die. Like, it was where you're taking your shirt off. You have your sat where you're taking a shit, and you're, for some reason, like, instincts, like, I must take my clothes more off. Yeah. Yes. Like, like, why am I doing this? It's called a panic attack. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm, like, turning on the sink. I'm bending over, turning on the sink, splashing water on my face. Like, I was, I, I was dying. Edible, edibles do that. Yeah. What and do you that, drink when you eat that? Well, you're supposed to drink milk, but they yeah. didn't have milk, Rice. so they only had water, Rice. which makes it worse. Right. So, uh... So I, went, I then went back to sleep for like four more hours. I couldn't take it anymore. Have a seat, George. Hello. All right, I'm going to uh, slide out. George is here. Uh, so I couldn't take it anymore. Are you going up? Court just left. Uh, I'm after him, right? Is there? No. Uh, yeah, you are. Yeah. What's the left? The line, uh, you are at the bottom. All uh, right. So we're talking about this chicken. Let's, let's not Hot fuck chicken. everyone up in the podcast. Uh, so... Oh shit! So then, after I took a shit and took off my shirt, I uh, <laughs> I then went back to bed for five more hours. I couldn't take it anymore. Uh, I then like had a miserable night. Next day, night shitting nurse. all day, uh, fire, shitting taking my day. shirt off. It was the worst twenty four like diarrhea. Hours. Shit? Hey, Esther, Esther, see here. The worst twenty four hours I, I've had in uh, my life. So here is the part where we eat it. Uh, and you can, you can find this, by the way, on First We Feast on YouTube to watch the whole thing. Anybody, it's very good. I've seen wing. many of them. So let's, let's skip to here. I really like the taste. Now you it, ate a whole I one? I wish we started off with a nice 
Baby Look at the one. girl's face right behind you who just can't right, believe it. Right, because I'm kind of hungry. <coughs> and I didn't eat because of my This is after the second one. Red band, so I'll chill. How, how, how would anyone eat that, though? Like, eat the whole thing. No one can eat the whole thing of that. <laughs> I don't think so. And during the show, he... During the show, he is so calm and collective. Like he he doesn't yeah. he doesn't flinch when he He's eats Navy the hot Steel stuff. Is it collective or collected? Collected, collective. But he <laughs> he he's so like a professional. Like it doesn't bother him ever. So when seeing him freak out on the on the just the extra spot one. It did scare me. So this is the this is the third one. This is the third. Yeah. we're going up. Yeah. So this is the, this is the one that they don't even have the mini because it's too hot and it can hurt people. We feast. That's uh, funny. And check out Hot Ones, man. It's one of my favorite shows ever. Joey yeah. Diaz has been on it. Yeah, Bert yeah, Kreischer yeah. has been on it. I want to see Joey Diaz on it. Joey the latest was soaked. Ep- the latest episode had Brussel, oh, uh, Russell Russell Brand, Brand on yeah. it. Brus- it. Brussel Rand. Brussel Sprout. I, I I don't watch many YouTube shows. I'm not really a fan of any of the YouTube people, but it is one of my favorite shows to watch. That's like one I, that you will watch. I will. I watch right, it like it's it it, I, it's called Hot Ones, and I watch it like it's going out of fire. George Perez, you got a new podcast going on? Here. Yes, George Perez Stories. Now you, I, I noticed you take commercial breaks and everything like that, like a professional radio station. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because like I don't know, I want it to be different, and I want it to be stories, and so like I have Pozole on standby. Nice, because if you get faded, you'll just come back, and then what's Pozole? Pozole is like a soup, and it has. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna try it, and I never did. Yeah, I, 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 that was a crazy one when I did your podcast at my house. That was the dope one. That was the crazy. People <laughs> loved it. Fuck yeah! Yeah. I, thank you. It was. I, I love doing it with they you, man. It was loved cool. It. And I got you donuts. Yeah. yeah, it was gangster, but no, nah, dog, because you know everybody knows I fuck around. So sometimes you got to do a bump, and you got to come back from commercial on a bump, <laughs> or you got to smoke oh a blunt. God. It's just it's how we get down, you know. If you have a preference, fuck, we'll do your preference. Oh, see, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing in the Oregon? Yeah, I do it right there in Cyprus. Cyprus. Yeah, Cyprus With looks like where everybody from Craigslist lives. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird fucking cool city. Cyprus Why doesn't Craig from Craigslist just open a subdivision where people just live off of Craigslist? That's true. So, uh, Jason, you just got off stage. How How is the uh, audience? Speaking of hot sauce, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they were lukewarm. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey, when I went in there, it seemed like only half the audience was there. Uh, yeah, there, it's only about half the room was full. Half a full. Yeah, there They're was fun, though. I, had, I told some stories. There's supposed to be like 25, 30 people, and there was only like 15. I brought right? three when you were on. Yeah. Thanks, man. I was seeing them for you. I was like, over there. <laughs> Cool. Get in the middle. Don't sit on the. What? Yeah, yeah. Don't sit on the side. Did the new guy, the guy that did two, uh, two set or his second set, did he? Did he did Crushed, he, did bro. He, did he really? No. And <laughs> <laughs> he was, and then he told everyone he was an amateur, and and but but he was he just told stories in a, in a creepy way. It was cool. Cool. Yeah, he told some. Uh, he was doing this whole thing about the uh, seatbelts on the plane. Oh yeah, pretty yeah. fucked up shit. Demented. Yeah. Yeah, seat belts it. on the plane. Yeah, he did. He did this thing. I don't want to really want to give his joke away, but it's kind of like talking about like the insurance aspect of. of oh, like, I got uh, you. Uh, uh, do not put up your tray tables because if you did, and we got in a, an accident, There's, it would slice your head off. And it, so like, you know what else is going to slice your head off? Everything else in the plane. Yeah, yeah. That's why, you know. Especially, they're, gi- they're giving you the spiel at the beginning of the flight, like, make sure you put your Those things up. crash? Here's, a, here's what's crazy, <laughs> is when you're on the ground yes. going towards the gate at, like, three miles an hour, they're like, do not take your seatbelts off. Some crazy shit can go down or whatever. It's but when like, you're going 900 miles an hour at yeah. 35,000 feet, they're like, take your seatbelts off. Have fucking 100%. Fuck around. Yeah. 100%. It's because they know if the plane goes down, yeah. we're done. Yeah. And I'm fine with that. Those as long as it's painless. Will <laughs> cut you right in half. Yeah, that's the thing. He was talking about in the car, you got airbags everywhere. You got a shoulder harness. And in the plane, you got nothing but a tray table. Piece of piano wire. Little, little freaking and a, a, and a, a Sony Walkman. <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't Seinfeld do a joke like that? But just like Seinfeld? with no fat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah then I know. That's what I heard too. Guys, spell my bad. Spell spell Nazis tonight. Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah, like he does that joke. Don't where, hit on the Latino accent. Seinfeld. Eh? Yeah, like uh, why do kamikaze hey, pilots the Jerry wear helmets? Why do what? Why do kamikaze right. pilots uh, wear helmets? What's the deal with that? <laughs> It'd be the same shit of like you're right. gonna die. Right. So why even need the seatbelt? Oh, that's cool. That's it's like, uh, oh, thank you. Stephen Wright used to have face? a bunch of bits like that. 
No, that tattoo is a cover place, up. If the place is open 24 hours, why are there locks on the doors space. and that kind of stuff? It's a microphone. Uh, it, it's my Hi, baby's Esther. mom's name. Hi. I feel bad. George said he brought you gifts when he did your podcast. All, all I brought was my brother. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you? You know what? Uh, let's talk about this because we, we haven't talked about this. You have a uh, twin brother, identical and, and twin. I. Didn't what? know you had. A, no. I didn't know you because I, I don't really know you. We never really met. We always were in the Jason same Collins. groups. Good to see I, you. I know, but we never like we kind of met in a weird, very diluted yeah. way. Like, oh, we've been hanging out so much that we kind we're of know friends. each other. Yeah, we're friends. <laughs> we're friends now because we've been shared the same space for so long. Right, but the weird thing is, is that I. It took me a while to figure out that you had a twin brother because I think maybe the first month or so of, of very seeing similar. you. That I, I was like going up to your brother, and your brother was like, he's, I was like, 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 who the fuck are you? Like, why are you talking? He's a little antisocial sometimes, like yeah. that too. He'll, he doesn't take a minute to think. Okay, this guy might know my brother. Right. He'll, he'll look at you like he's I don't, retarded. I don't know you. He's not retarded. He's a very yeah. smart guy. I know he's no, happy. but he he acts retarded. It's like if you're a, that's a, a very comedian, maybe his intro. If I you're think a comedian's twin introvert. brother, you, you can't be hanging out at the by, patio at the comedy store. She means introverted. What are you talking about? No, I Just mean because he hangs out at the comedy store because he's proud of his brother. No, my brother's a very funny. A lot of people there. My brother's a very funny guy. A very funny writer. So he you know he hangs around a lot of people that he that he. You know, no, but he's got to know that people recognize him, thinking it's you, and then they well, he think, knows that. They That's think he knows that. He's not. You're an that. asshole. He knows that. He knows that. But he probably you know didn't people know. would come up to say to me sometimes. They would be like, they they would when they'd find out that we were twins, <laughs> so they'd just start cracking up. They're like, you, know, I thought you were like this jerk <laughs> that was doing like wardrobe changes so and the, in like between sets at the comedy store. Like you'd show up in in this plaid shirt and then you're wearing your. Fucking yeah. blue sweater yeah. in the same night. It's the I life think, of a twin. I think it was like the night before I had seen you, and I said like, "Oh, hey, how's, how's it going?" or something like that. And then the next day, I was like, "What's up, man? How you doing?" And he goes, I, and "I'm like, geez, what, what did I do?" <laughs> like, 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 like he just gave me a, a nod. Lot. You know, he might, Dude. he might be, he might be fucking you. He might, you know, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> do people so, try and pair twins up together? Like people say, "Oh, I know two twin girls. You should meet them." When we were younger, uh -huh. yeah. But it was my brother and I. Were you like, supposed to? Do make... you ever run into a comedian that you don't want to talk to, and you're like, um, "I'm not Jason. I'm the twin." But they're not identical, no, but right. Like, I love that it's a comedian. They're pretty close. <laughs> they're pretty. They're pretty fucking close. Not just a person. I mean, I yeah, yeah, yeah. They're very close. Like. We're, not not pe we're not people. <laughs> He's very supportive on Instagram. <laughs> David is very supportive on Instagram. He's a liker. He's a big time liker. So are, and a liquor. I, I, I heard that you do Esther. you do jujitsu or, or I did. Years you did. Ago. I did. I taught martial arts for. 25 years. Why'd you get out of it? Uh, just old just, bones yeah, and stuff? My knees old are shot. Bones. My back is shot. <laughs> no, no, it's true. I mean, yeah, it's... I started training at 12 years old and got into full contact fighting at like 16. Yeah. By the time I was 25, I was just... Now, have you ever talked to Rogan about any of this? Because, I mean, he no. gets he gets like... You know, shit, shoot it in his yeah, yeah, cryotherapy. He gets bone juice put in yeah. on him. Wow. Baby's tears. Yeah, you should Instead talk to Rogan that. about it. I heard he has a podcast. <laughs> Instead of doing that, I just stopped doing martial arts. Yeah. yeah it's like, just, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they've been trying to get me to do it forever. But, like, uh, when I was 14, 20, and 30, and recently, I've had my knee pop out of place just oh. standing. Like I'll stand, like oh. I'll tilt my leg weird, and my knee pop just pops out. And I'm like, yeah, I don't think I should do jujitsu. Yeah. I don't think it's probably not. I know you guys want me to because you want to roll around and kiss me and stuff, but uh -huh. yeah, you don't look like a fighter <laughs> though. You, you don't look like it. it. You don't, you don't look like yeah. I don't know. You don't look like you'd even like PE in high school. No, I, I fucking I never even take off my shirt in the in the in the locker room. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, watch your over talking, Chelsea. I'm Sorry. gonna have to turn off your mic. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Now, Holly. Chelsea, are you He's doing it? Calling out how the face of his watch is probably. I know, but good. when people are listening and they're trying to hear people talk, they just hear people go in the background going. <laughs> that was a good Chelsea. <laughs> that was a good exactly Chelsea. Like <laughs> no, it's now, fucked up because we've been having her pass the joint the whole night. We haven't passed her the mic. <laughs> I was just going to get into it. Now, Chelsea, are you still <laughs> dating Stephen Randolph? I am. Oh, my God. Now, I heard this was a, like, every time he comes on here, he's saying it's a very on, on and off again. It is. And he says he's pregnant, too. Didn't you just start a Instagram page for the both of you? <laughs> we did because we thought it was funny, but I'm wondering if people so think So many people are going to think it's real. So many people are going to think like it's real. Like, like, yeah. like it's like we're actually just like an... Uh, 
like self-conscious couple <laughs> yeah. kind of the thing like how people no because everyone was like oh my god like we love your whole thing together so we're like let's just make like an instagram page together because we it thought it would be romeo funny. and juliet and commit suicide no, and we at just, the end of the year <laughs> but it, it's really i don't know we're moving in together he's moving into my <laughs> oh shit I, it's Damn. probably crazy moving in together first let's let's, you, let's pause and rewind for a second <laughs> can we just say let's start before you did the instagram just posting your photos together where you're making out and shit like that none of it us took so it as a joke yeah, right? all of us took it as like god please stop <laughs> like yeah. uh, oh you can unfollow but not unfriend i didn't know that was a feature <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I Is guess it? I guess th- six thousand views are people saying to please stop on the makeup. Six thousand views—that's a lot. Unbelievable. In like, you it's know, good. A couple hey, of days. hey, man, if you guys are fucking around, do it. I mean, hey, it's not narcissistic at all. Yeah, yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> we just thought it would be funny. And, and yeah. Fifty thousand of them are people going like, "Did you see this shit?" Wow. Wow. Yeah. But you know, I mean, people are like saying stuff about it, so. We, right, so we now did you got what we wanted to do. We just wanted yeah. more attention. <laughs> now you got, got an Instagram. Instagram. You got an Instagram. We're talking together. about it right now. Yeah, we're, this is what we wanted. Get, it's all about content, guys. Yeah, yeah. content, content. Go ahead content. and be, and, and be <laughs> Kelly Conway and throw it out there. We just yeah, we just want attention. That's it. What's the? Uh, I'm not. What's your Instagram name for your? It's, uh, it's Cheven. <laughs> wait, wait, what? We thought it'd be funny to combine our name, you know. Oh, like how, uh-huh. that, all right, so now I'm getting the joke a little. Very clever. Yeah, yeah. It's like it, we're like joking. All I right, mean, you know, C-H- that's what you're supposed to name your first black child. It's what Cheven? <laughs> Or combining a, co- a combination of your uh, names. Really? I thought it was just for celebrity couples. Uh, no. Are you pulling it up? Uh, this Pull- is hilarious. That's not it. You found a you found a pocket. You found a pocket. <laughs> no. <laughs> <it's>, no. <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right. So it's C. It's it's Cheven. I, I, I what the it's, fuck? Like it's Cheven. We can just. I love how you're holding your chest like you're gonna Cheevin. have a stroke. I don't know why I'm doing <laughs> like, that. Oh no. Oh, okay. So, oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I, love it. Oh, yeah. I did not okay. post that one. I want to delete it, but I'll let him do it. Hey guys. Okay. I like this. Good news. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> Good news. All right. Guys. See, this is too real. You can't have this in here. Okay. If, if you're going to if you're going to do it, you do it. You don't do real shit. Well, I felt like that was Cheven doing press. Yeah. But no. No, you, if you do it, you have to like okay. be like unco- make everyone look uncomfortable around you or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, You're out of character other. here. This is you You're being. Right. This yeah. is you being normal. I'll bring that up. All right, like this is great. <laughs> I like yeah. this a lot. Look at the hair on this guy. <laughs> God damn that guy's hair. She even yeah. Uh, this was cool because it really made me uncomfortable. Because I was thinking like, d- is this guy like pissed off? Is we this took a- <laughs> so many crazy pictures. Santa Claus Batman. looks hammered. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think Santa Claus was upset about that at all. I like this. Uh, He's uh, like, I'm gonna fuck both of these kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just got to make sure you. Merry stay. Christmas! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love you, Jason. I'm fucking hot. Hey guys, good news! It, it's Cheevan just started following me on Instagram. Really? 13 hours ago. That's so funny. <laughs> so this is why you get so many views, by the way. It's not yeah. about that. Oh, throw it Look out. at that little shadow Thank right you. there. Look at that shadow. <laughs> what does the shadow mean? That's a good shadow. Is it? Who yeah. looks for shadows? We all look for shadows. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> yeah. Most of these pictures Red Band's are left like hand. from mm-hmm. our two years of friendship. So we just have like tons of weird photos. Yeah. And who's taking now, these photos? Oh, God. Everyone this, around this us? This shit. This Chelsea, <laughs> two, the two years of friendship. Can we talk about that? I Did, want people to be jacking off to these. Yeah. Did you Whoa. resist? Did you Whoa. resist the relationship at first? I didn't even know it. We were just friends. It, it was really just we were friends. That's I will say that Jason, he are you liked up me. Soon? You might be up soon. After the shoot to go up. Hey, what am I? Oh, no, she's at the. I can't. You're looking I at the can wrong guarantee one. it, and this is why you Jason, aren't just friends right. anymore. Why? He did not want to be just Spencer, friends. Spencer Spicer's up no, right now. He he's bringing you up. That now yeah. he didn't want to be just friends, but eventually, like two years later, and you're bringing me up. We ended up kissing one night, and then it like felt like special. You know what I mean? That's and then adorable. It, and he's like obsessed with eating pussy. And one time he ate my pussy nine times in one night. Nine I'm just times say in that. one night. But like, when do you consider it a time? You know, like like this nine times of making. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this. That's yeah, nine yeah. nuts. Like or coming, did he give you nine? Yeah, nine nuts. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's Nine fun. nuts. That. I didn't. I was like so dehydrated. You're gonna marry this dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but I was like. What do you mean you were dehydrated? He uh, sucked your fucking. Like I was just like dead. He losing, got all, he got all losing her fluid by the milliliter. <laughs> like he had to get me Pedialyte. No. That's crazy. Gatorade by the bedside. Pedialyte's actually. Illegal. I don't know. I I I. Uh, you must have some strong pussy to make a man do that. No, I've done I it. Know. I've done it for a long yeah. ass time before, but it was also like impressing the girl you know what i mean so like, 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 you. like 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 i'm way out of my league right now i'm going to eat her pussy for three hours <laughs> right. so no one knows like she's like what the fuck happened last night it yeah, was but, the entire day like morning to night yeah, yeah but a friend for two years you're no, no, no 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 that's no, no, why no. that's why he, that's called mental he was I, hungry i would know that you fucked other dudes and i'd be like i want to taste their dicks like oh, I, thought, I would think. Were yeah. you dating someone else when you guys were fr first friends? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know that. <laughs> don't. But do you feel me? That I don't know days? the timeline of the relationship. Hey, what's going on, brother? Yeah, I was don't mostly worry. dating. Uh, Court. That person that I. Hate. He's on stage right. That you now. hate. That's Christian. You know who this uh, is? Christian Spicer. Do you know who this is I when do. I do yes, this? I do. Oh, okay, yes, I do. cool. <laughs> well, how how long has uh, Spicer been on? Uh, maybe four minutes. Okay. How was the set? It was great. They were great. They were very nice people. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Hi, Esther. Hi. I, 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 I didn't, I good. Didn't. How are you? I'm doing good. Sorry. Um, no, they were solid, man. It was fun. It's fun. I followed Mr. Jason Collins, who did, had a very nice set. I, it, was, it was okay. I've had, uh, I've had better. Yeah, I did a lot better, but that's okay. I, I, I wasn't going to say well, that. Well, you're, you know, you're, you're, shut you've been up. doing this longer than I have. No, no, no. <laughs> um, no, but it's great. Yeah, I, I, the reason I like the Death Squad crowds is that... Um, it's honest. You just got to, as long as you're honest with them, they don't give a shit. Right. You know, it doesn't matter. It's yeah. more of a group than a crowd tonight. Yeah, that's more like a gathering. But I want to go good. back into guys that Chelsea dated, so I think we should go back into <laughs> yeah. that. What's the question? Um, are you still with Steven? Yeah, we were just. Oh, yeah, we got it. Let's, let's, move. let's change the subject. Let's, uh, let's Wait, go somewhere else. Are you else. following the Instagram, though? Just, admit, just say yes or no? Uh, which Instagram? Okay, never mind. Yeah, you'll right. find out soon enough. Uh oh. Hey, what happened to my headphones, dude? Yeah, those headphones are broken, bro. That's crazy. Oh. Are they poking your, into your, your head? Skin? Happened to the headphones? Huh. Talking about eating pussy, and I was like, oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Where was I for like, this conversation? Snap them together. Nine hours of eating pussy. That's impossible for me. Nine hours. No, no, no nine, nine times. It was my nine bad. times. Nine times. You've only eaten pussy nine times. No, Steven one night. Eaten <laughs> pussy nine times in one day. We lost him, Brian. Oh, oh. Jesus. All right, let's stop. Everyone stop. You guys. I am going to change the subject now, and you guys go with it gently. Uh, so I was looking at the news today, and there was a funeral. I'm sorry, what? Right, you're off. Oh, I was, I was, I was, I was, I'm kidding. I was... Uh, and there was a funeral for our cop, and it I don't, they just pretty much played it on all the news. They were like, fuck it, you're not watching Ellen, you are watching this three-hour funeral funeral for a cop. L.A. cop? L.A. cop, and it was very sad. The Is story it the Whittier one? Yeah. It was Dude. Very, very sad. He was loved by Please everybody. let me jump in on okay, this. Okay, yes. This is the craziest fucking part of it. I got proof of it on my phone. So the guy that came out and shot the cop, mm -hmm. he later went home and shot his brother-in-law. Right. And his brother-in-law was Capone, and I was locked up with him in prison. We were in the same dorm. What? No oh. shit. Yeah. So why did this guy, why did the guy come out and shoot, just, to, just to another one of these general assholes that goes out and shoots a cop? Well, it's not that he's a general asshole. I mean, he's created into that. I, I lived with all these guys, and he just got done doing 15 years from being a kid. I think he was 17 when he got locked up. So his, he's been beat up by cops his whole life. It's programmed that yeah. they're the enemy. And so, like, he's okay. out now, and I guess there was a little confrontation. And in prison, when a cop talks shit to you, hey, we're going, we're going at it. Cause, right. So I kind of, and then, you know, like, hey, man, at, at the end of the day, it ain't cool to kill somebody over an argument. You know what I no, mean? No, I, absolutely not. But you're talking about somebody who's been institutionalized yeah. for a, more than half, you know, half of his life or yeah. most of his adult most life. Most of his adult life. Yeah. And all of his, basically, all of his adult life. Yeah. So, like, I I mean, I kind of felt that he was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Have I'm you cool with going back in. Have you seen this documentary, 13th? Yes, I have seen 13th. Yeah. And, and, and I got it. I mean, it was one of these things that, like, to me was, it really was an eye-opening documentary. Were you like, it, fuck, my grandparents were evil? <laughs> no, because, I mean, like, listen, I'm not the white devil, you know? I mean, it's like, I come from, I come from Oklahoma. I came from a, you know, a place where, 
you know, we didn't give a shit, really. I mean, there's, it's a very, it's very, if you want to say it's still racist, yeah, it's still a little bit racist there, just like it is, I think, in er everywhere in the country. But, but I, I kind of feel it's more lol over there in that area. It'd be more like, hey, that's just how it is. We're over here, they yeah. would be like, nah, we're fucking protesting. There's no fucking way we can't right. go eat ice cream over there. No, I think what's what's happened over there is it's like, it's, it, it's, there's not we don't have the real high end and the from the very high end to the very low end that live within a neighborhood of each other i got you now you know yeah. so it's much it's much segregated. more it's much more segregated i mean you got to realize man i went to i was in school i remember when i was in i think it was second or third grade i was there when they first brought the schools to get when we had blacks Fuck. blacks shipped in to uh an all you, you mean know shipped in <laughs> shipped they in. Them on a bus well they brought them in on a bus man because they would have got beat up if they walked so to school they're right in. no because they were from they were from they were, another they part of another part of town so then they entered you know segregated the schools oh wow for you know complete segregation so the whole city went to complete segregation and when that happened, I remember like it was, I remember the day it happened. I'll never forget it. It was like this kind of weird, like it was almost like this big welcoming of like, finally, okay, you know, it's all cool. And everyone was cool. No one was like, you there. guys weren't like, man, I don't think I can make the basketball team no more. You were no, because it like wasn't, that. it wasn't anything like that. It was, it was just like, it was like, you see these people everywhere. You all live, you know, you, and, it, and it was like, and all of a sudden everybody was just like, it was normal. Yeah, I feel you know what it, it's crazy being Mexican. Like I can, I'm wait, the wait, outside. Wait. Oh no, we didn't we didn't allow Mexicans there. The blacks no. were cool. We're no Mexicans yet. No, no. I'm just saying being Mexican, I always get to see the white and the black fight. Like I get to yeah, see yeah. it. <laughs> like I'm the real judge of you're you guys. the referee. <laughs> I'm the real judge. And I I remember thinking, going, man, white people in the '60s were like. Man, if we let these fools play sports with us, it's over, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and like now I sit back and I look, I'm like, if I had that power, I would have done it too, though. Right. It's kind of like Mexicans were here and then we lost the war and we immigrated and got took out. Blacks were brought here. So it's kind of like, yo, dog, we brought you here. We're going to let you know what the rules are and right. then you'll ease your way up. That's just what I've seen. Am I right? Am I wrong? Yeah. Would you be against or for if we bought Mexico and made it 20 more states i'd be so for it but then i you'd have to let the culture keep there you'd be you, you'd yeah. have to have them divide the the boundaries of the states do i get to live in cancun yeah because exactly. that's right <laughs> yeah it's out like, of everywhere in mexico you'd want cancun yeah i'd, yeah, I'd want to for live, every yeah, white yeah. guy that goes to cancun you got to put a mexican in malibu there you go. You know what I mean? It got to be a cool, fair trade. There's, there's a lot of Mexicans in Malibu. But not working, they, living. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Because there's a lot of Mexicans yeah. in Malibu. I'm sure they just, they're attending to they a just, lot of homes there. Yeah, they just drive Toyota yeah. pickup trucks with a lot of lawn equipment in the back. Where, where did why you would, grow up, George? Why wouldn't Mexico combine with the United States? Well, I'll give you, I mean, it's like, first of all, first of all, it. Mexico City is basically a terrorist city. I mean, it's dangerous there. Yes. My buddy, my buddies are there. I got a friend right now that's there at the golf tournament, the, the professional golf tournament, okay. the World Golf Championships. And so, you know, the richest, you know, the richest, whitest motherfuckers there are are down there right now in Mexico City playing this golf course that's built in 1920. Wow. And it's beautiful. It, and it's yeah. amazing. But they tell the people that are working that work for the PGA Tour, they tell them, stay in your hotel room. Do yeah. not leave no, your yeah. hotel room. If you go on the bus, you'll get robbed. You'll get robbed or Any, kidnapped. Yeah, anything. You know? they're, they're starving. So it's like, I mean, it's like they tell them, and there's like three guys that are sick already, three or four guys that have uh. already got come down with this the stomach flu. And, you know, and it's just... I mean, I, it is not, it's not a safe, it's not a, I mean, you think we have it, you think it's like Detroit on steroids. Yeah, but it's, it's a whole different thing though. Mexico City is also making a lot of fucking money. Detroit ain't making no money. They're no, attracting but, but way they're, more tourists. It's just, you got rich. It, it's kind of like, it's kind of like this. Imagine if richer people that lived in Malibu went to Malibu, Malibu would still rob them because they have way more than what they got. Right. Now, it, doesn't like the richest man in the world doesn't live in Mexico City? city is well, it a lot of people from the cartel live over there no but there's a guy who's Haven't like there's like the guy the, no. doesn't the guy that like owns like the telephone company for I, mexico isn't like he one of the richest men in the world i i don't i you know i talking? can't call that but oh, okay i thought there was a guy. no there's some rich people the, out there the mad second rich. the second most but, richest person in the world is in mexico yeah 
but yeah, it's just there's way more poor people over there because even me being Mexican, they'll fucking rob me because they'll know I'm not from where. Really? Yeah, they'll know. They'll know. A what lot of what the, do they rob you with? Whatever. They'll pull out a fucking knife. They'll grab you by the throat. I, I, my my celly when I was in prison was a he's from Mexico City and he's called a chilango. That's the nickname they give him. And he was locked up for robbing. He robbed six liquor stores. And then he got locked up, and he was telling me, he goes, yeah, man. Because isn't there that church where you do a crawl to to get yeah. your sins forgiven? Yeah. He, he had the chicken pox, and his grandma did the crawl, and I guess he lost it. Well, I think the most common wow. thing that happens there, you know, not, not maybe the most common thing, but the one of the big, the big things they do there is they basically find someone who's white or touristy or whatever, and they actually kidnap them and ransom their family for yes. money. Yeah, Be, Western you know, Union, baby. Yeah, if you you West, if you don't Western Union them money, they will kill. They will kill them. So it's like, and they get a, you know, obviously it's better than ripping off the ATM because Jeez. you know then you get the ransom money. Yeah. yeah. No white people will be going to Mexico City for a while. But you know what? Um, how can I say it? The, the government has no control really of Mexico. Mexico will be the next Iraq. And it, 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 won't, be, it won't get to the point of that destruction or, or what they'll do to America. Right. But they're going to go at it with each other soon. Well, it, it's, also too, mm. it's also true. There's, there's, they don't have the kind of oil money. They don't, they don't have no. that. They don't have that resource like Iran, Iraq, yeah. the Middle East has oil as a resource there that people want to be there. People want to go to Iran and Iraq. Companies do yes. to, to, to take, make money, to make money. There is nothing. There's nothing to do in Mexico city unless you run cocaine yes. or methamphetamines, weed. Right. Yeah. But it, us? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean the fruit it's, it's uh. Or is that just a cover-up? No, it's not a cover-up. It's you got to remember this. Like you remember when limes got so expensive because the cartels were having battle wars on highways because they were like, if you're gonna Don't use this highway, that. you have to give us a cut. So now limes couldn't cross the borders, dude. I remember limes. A Corona was six bucks and a lime was two bucks. <laughs> what? Yeah, Corona limes no, got expensive. You can Google that shit. Okay. I know where lemons you, are Where did you grow up? I grew up in Orange, Santa Ana. Santa oh, so you're an Orange County guy. Yeah, I'm an oh, Orange okay. County guy. I'm border Orange County. I grew up in Long Beach. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, yeah, you're right there yeah. by Los Alamitos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where, you grew up in uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, that, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I mean, Oklahoma is like, I mean, I grew, but I also grew up, you know, I was, a, you know, I was born in the 60s. So it's yeah. like, I, mean, I grew up in the 70s when it was like, there wasn't all this shit, you know. I mean, the worst thing that happened to us was Watergate. You know, I mean, we were, I, came, I was, you know, I was around during the end of the Vietnam War. And, um, hmm. you know, I was around during the, you know, the, the hippies, you know, when the hippies were transitioning into disco. I mean, when I was in junior high and high school, disco was the shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you I know, Saturday disco. Night disco was the shit, man. I mean, you used to go out and it was great. But then, you know, um, I don't know. You're I, last. Um, but the thing was, is like, but it was safe, man. I mean, like you, you walked to school, you walked home. Yeah, we you know, did that. You, we yeah, did that. Yeah, we walked everywhere. We, I mean, yeah, there we're was the last certain generation streets you didn't walk it. down. But. but see, like for us, there weren't certain streets you didn't walk yeah, down. I mean, I it was, it was just basically, I mean, you know, you went, you know, you go out like you, your kids, like your kids, yeah. kid kids, like, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, whatever. I mean, everybody played. So you did, there were, there weren't like, I'm you sure there were it. pedophiles, but it wasn't like there is, oh, I mean, were, it, you know, it wasn't like now. everywhere. And it was, <laughs> and it was so much easier back then. Because <laughs> if you think about it, how often do you, during the day, how often do you see a bunch of kids just running around nowadays? Never. Hardly ever. Yeah. yeah. You always see them with their mom holding their hand. Yeah. Or they're on a every, fucking leash. Moms, you know? it, parents don't let the kids out of their sight because they're like, you're not going to fuck my kid today. It, like, literally, that's the mentality now. Ugh, I yeah. wish my parents watched me when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you when you were a kid? What so didn't? many things. So really? many things. Uh, you, know, what? You, know, you know what's fucked up, though, is it's the system as well. It's like you notice that. that when you drive by schools, it says go 25, yeah. and pedophiles get to drive slow and look at the kids they're going to get. Man. You should be 70 by the fucking school. <laughs> Shit was Theo Vaughn has a great bit about when he says when I was a kid you went down the street and you got touched by a guy you just didn't go down that street anymore you, you know? just got back on your bike and you're like we ain't coming around here no right. more exactly. and I only know that word for word because yeah. I've heard it a hundred times but it's ain't nobody but it's, touching but it's funny man it's like <laughs> I mean, I, we knew I mean, the guy in the neighborhood that did that I mean that's 
Really? We just yeah. knew what. what. It, it, it's, he didn't say it's shit? A, yeah, you said shit. But then he, it's different. It, that is so different with the internet and everything. And then they made people the law so about much. knocking on people's doors like right yeah. after. Yeah. That. See, like, I mean, I grew up, and when I was growing up, like, there weren't, I mean, there were gay people, mm-hmm. I'm sure, but they, there weren't, as far as you knew, any gay people. Yeah. See, I mean, it was like, that was up, so deep, dark in the fucking closet that, yeah. like, that was, that shit, I didn't know anybody there was nobody in my i graduated from high school in 1981 mm. and from the you know and even all through college when i went to college i got out of college in 84 um and moved to california from 81 to i mean for, until 1984 i had never seen a person who was out so where in oklahoma is where you oklahoma grew? city yeah wow see i grew up long beach california was so diverse I mean, it was like how we, when you're talking about the story about you remember when this yeah. school got integrated. I mean, that was just how it was from day one. The f- the first school I went to, I was the only I was the only white kid in the school when I when I was in kindergarten. I went to uh, this little school in North Hollywood. Yeah. And uh, oh, you got you went all the way up to North Hollywood to go to school. Well, we were there first. My dad was in the music. Oh, industry. okay, yeah. M- was in the music industry. And we were in in North Hollywood, and from what my parents told my brother and I, we spoke Spanish. We only spoke Spanish to our friends. As a, that kid memory, I just remembered hanging out with the guys. Wow. From a, our parents told us, yeah, you were speaking fluent Spanish with these kids because that was the only <laughs> language that was spoken in the neighborhood. Wow. Well, like, I mean, yeah, when I was in school, man, I mean, it was like, yeah, we didn't have, we had like, I went, when I was in high school, we got bused from our neighborhood 20 miles to high school. So we used to have to go 20 miles to our high school. And, the and schools, it was in an all black neighborhood. And your schools, you're like rival schools that you played. Yeah. Like, they were far away from each other. Right? No, like, yeah. I mean, like the, yeah. there was a high school that was like a mile and a half from my house and I got bused because of my neighborhood. I got bused 20 miles to high school. Huh. So we would, we would drive 20 miles on a bus. We'd have to go. If you, if you didn't have a car, the bus came by and picked you up and it took 40, 45 minutes to drive to school. Why wouldn't they put you in the school that was next to your house? Because the, that was a different neighborhood because they had to, oh, they, they had the borders, had, they had borders. And so we went to, I went to an, in an all black neighborhood, went to high school and it was cool. There was no, it was no big deal. You know, it was half and half and it, all the schools were kind of half and half. And uh, but yeah, that's where we went to see where, where he's to from. The white kids got bust in from where, where I'm from. <laughs> well, the b- black kids got bust into the high school that was a mile and a half from my house. Interesting. So it was like it was just this weird the way they did it, the way they integrated it. They they zoned neighborhoods, and this neighborhood went to this high school. That neighborhood went to that high school. Huh. In Chelsea's neighborhood, you just got touched. Where, where are you from? New York. New York. Oh, of course you got touched in New York. Not in New York, somewhere in Japan. Oh, you got touched in Japan? This is yeah. getting interesting. Okay, how did I you I lived get... in Japan for a year when I was four. You got touched when you were four? By a Japanese yeah. man? Yeah, our next door neighbor. Jeez. Wow. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Like, interesting. I like, can't really remember it, but I just know it happened. Can you, can you get wow. a chair over here? Yeah. Wow. Sorry. That's interesting. Hey, Corey, can we switch out? Was your, uh, was your dad in the military or something? Yeah, what? I'm going to head no, out. He I'm going to head out, Brian. Oh, thank promote you. your stuff. Promote your stuff. Uh, you can go to my uh, website, courtmccown.com. You can find me on Twitter, at Court McCowan. Um, Instagram, whatever, all the shit. It's all on my website. But um, you guys have a great night. Thanks, thanks, Death Squad. Red Band, thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Court's hilarious. You out of here? Uh, lineup. We'll show it in one second. Steph Sambari's here. How are you yeah. doing, Steph? Welcome back. I think these headphones are broken. Hi. <laughs> yeah. all, all these headphones are broken. Yes. What happened here? Uh, they're skull candy. Is that not good? <laughs> they're inexpensive. Is that bad? I thought that was like a cool brand. Hello. Good brand. No, they're they're cool, but they're not used. They're not for like production use. Production use is like used heavily. Like Beats by Dre. By drunk comedians. By Court. We all think you're cute. (laughs) Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. I just want to lick your teeth. (laughs) Bye, uh, Bye, Daddy. Daddy. For real, do you guys not want to lick his teeth? Just like, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely not. No. <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> Jade Catapret is back. How you Hi doing, guys? Jade? Hi, guys. I haven't been yeah. here in a long time. I yeah. know. Wow. It's really destroyed here right now. It is. It, it's I, you fucking know, gross in here, Brian. It is pretty fucking gross. Um, so here's the new <laughs> Nintendo that we were talking Still? about. If you guys want to uh, sure. look oh, at so it. it's so big. Yeah. And that's actually the whole video game system. You take it home, you put it in it like a dock, and then it goes on your TV. That's pretty is cool. It a, oh, it's a touch screen? Yeah, and uh, there's Zelda on there right now. 
You're gonna hit the well, B button. Wait, can there. we talk about something dark? What? This has been obs- I've been obsessive over this. So we went to breakfast with Nick's parents, and his mom was like, "So this 14 year old boy went missing, right?" And she's like, "And it was during the storm." What? Go on. Sick. You getting horny? Touch your dick right now. 14 year old boy's lost. So he's lost. He's going home to school, and there was a big storm that day. It was the big storm, and. It, this was on the by the Pacoma River, and then later that day they found the body of a 14-year-old boy right by my house in Atwater Village. No. So the body traveled 20 oh miles down the LA River at 70 miles per hour. Is he okay? He's dead. He did. Oh, what happened? That's crazy. Well, nobody knows what happened. <laughs> That's awful. Maybe Isn't that awful? Himself? It's really bad. Well, I guess... Just jumped in the I don't know, river, but probably? I guess there was like a shortcut through a body of water and he tried and probably slipped Banana and fell. Or, or did someone kill him? Wow. Or did someone kill him? Those 14-year-old boys. And then they found a bunch of other bodies in what the river. Oh, my God. Them, right? <laughs> They're like Pringles. This story keeps... <laughs> Once you pop, you can't stop raping? What? Now you find them floating <laughs> in a river. Speaking of which, look, I'm I'm in a river. Wait, what is, hold on, can I, can I <laughs> Wait, is that a uh, young boy? Wait, is that a is, character? Is that Nintendo 64? Him. This is so real. I yeah. thought it was just regular ass Nintendo. This is so cool. Oh, so I don't you know why play, he like, hates it. You can it. play 007 on that and stuff? Can you imagine being a kid they and this is like your experience of a on video game? Here, and uh, it's cool. sick. Oh, it's so amazing. You guys, really we cool. don't have to talk about video games now that Brian's gone, so we could like talk about anything oh, yeah. else. That'd be well, great. <laughs> you got a new dollhouse? Oh, yeah. Um, I got a little dollhouse. It's like a lunchbox. It's no. The, the Fairfax Trading Post. It's not like even, it wasn't even expensive. No, Jason, do you know about... This is um, so crazy. Where babies are made? <laughs> do you know how babies are made? <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, God. No, don't, don't drown. What? Sometimes I don't want to be where the baby's made. <laughs> Sometimes I want to be where the baby eats. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hot. That's kind of hot. I'm down to be where the baby eats. The asshole. It's a poop out. baby. If I ever saw a baby meow, meow, eating meow, an meow, asshole, meow. I might never sleep again. Or a, a man in his A baby 70s. eating asshole. Like, what, how is yeah. that oh, ever going to oh, okay. Well, it usually yeah. starts at gunpoint. <laughs> and you starve him for about two weeks to get him in character. Oh. Anyway, well. small town. <laughs> Small town. <gasps> Are there people watching this? If so, I'd love you to subscribe to my podcast. Oh, yeah. So retrograde. At so Show them the lighter. We got lighters, yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have it with you? I'm acting like this is my podcast. I'm like, we have lighters. Oh, <laughs> uh, by the way. <laughs> it's like Pushing super, my merch. Like, yeah. Oh, it's cute. It's but so cute. We were at lunch today at Hugo's and a fan of Seth's like stopped by. I was like, oh my God, I love your podcast. Oh. Are you Steph Sambari? I was yeah, like, it was hilarious. I am. Yeah, no, was they were awesome. like, are you Steph Sambari? And then they're like, you're Jade. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't. These are my friends. <laughs> I'm super cool too. Hugo's is my place, man. That's where all my magic happens. Frickles really needs to come back to their menu because what are we without Frickles? It's so Fred true. Pickles. Fred they're, Pickles. They're good. But they feel awful. They do feel bad. Do you have like They'll a, a theme to your them. podcast? It's a wellness-based podcast. Mm-hmm. So we just like talk to all different like health and wellness, health and wellness gurus. gurus or are you guys, is it together? No, it's Elizabeth Cott is Elizabeth. the other. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's really great because, you She's know, there's there's so in, many in things fashion. in LA that are like yeah. so overwhelming. Like the yeah. health and wellness community is so large. It's cool to zone in on the things that you can mm-hmm. find. They're like it's available. Cool. It's very cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Thanks. We just mm-hmm. want to like live our best Hi, life and help Hi. people. I see you all the time now. I know. How long are you here? I live on Tuesday. Pardon me. What? Yeah, exactly. Now yeah. <laughs> and we're back. And now here we are. Guys, we have to have one conversation. Sick okay, being sorry. in here. Yeah, the cigarettes are the not cigarettes chill, guys. Gnar. Hey, sorry, guys. <sighs> it's like in rest? my mouth. Are they bad for you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I like smoking a cigarette. Like, I'll smoke, like, a cigarette every now and again. But being around this secondhand in a closed space makes me feel like, yeah. nauseous. You yeah, 94. I'm like, yeah. Uh. yeah. Every breath is a struggle. Yeah, it's a struggle. Yeah, it feels fuck. like shit. feels like shit. I'm, like, sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does anybody want the rest of this oh, one? Oh, come on. Get out of here. No, but I want you to roll a joint for us from that weed right there. That'd you be cool. You want me to roll a joint yeah, yeah, for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll get you one of those babies you're talking about. <laughs> one oh, of those yeah, butt-eating babies. <laughs> the eating babies? <laughs> the butt-eating babies. You don't really strike me as like a joint rolling kind of guy. That I don't, like I smoke marijuana? Yeah. No, he'll you? smoke it. He doesn't want to fucking you roll do? it. Mm-hmm. Every day. Every day? Yeah, me too. Day. I smoke weed every I day. I feel like I, did, I thought you didn't smoke weed, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You see, I've smoked weed with you. We've had some moments. Yeah, I love him. You're a good guy, dude. I've been talking about you a lot. Yeah, he really has. I really like you a lot. (laughs) I'm serious. I really like you a lot, man. We'll see. (laughs) 
give like see. mild compliments when he gives one he needs it. That's true. I do. I like you, man. <laughs> now, yeah, now Jealous? Now, now, now I just don't I like Chelsea you. too. Now's new time you like Thank him you. back. But like I don't or know. Whatever, you know. <laughs> no, but this dude, like, you know, you don't have to. It's, that's what compliments are about. You gotta just take them. What's it like to live life with those dimples, huh? <laughs> They're so cute. I don't get it. I don't get it. You kind of have like so a Patrick Dempsey vibe. Do people say that? Sometimes. That's hilarious. I, I like get Don Knotts a lot. Who's who that? that? The this, guy who beat um, eight. Essential oil. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, fuck I mean, your cigarettes. We have essential oil cigarettes. Bye. Oh, yeah? yeah? Will I get my period if I use them too? I hope so. Have you guys used you a diva cup? Because yeah, I bought one. I it like is it. too big I, for my vagina. How do, how do people get that oh, in hurts. a vagina? It, it hurts so much. It, 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 I can't get I it in. I think I put it in wrong and it hurt so bad and yeah. then I couldn't. I pee. couldn't get it out. What and is it? It, it's, it's a it's a rubber cup, cup that you put it's inside so your pussy. It's so uncomfortable. So like you have so to like pour hard. it out. No, wait, yeah. Yeah. You're That's supposed to like gross. fold it's it up and then you I'll put it inside it and then when it gets inside it opens up. It's just but uterine then once lining. It there, it's so big that there's no room lining. for your fingers to also be in there and so it's like I don't understand. Did you what use it to have Traffic sex on your period your or not hole. to wear tampons? I was trying not to wear tampons. Me too. But also if there's a size two. No, I'm like, how is a right size right two fit no, in a no, vagina? No, because it, it fits. A size it, it two like cup? opens up and like I use a one. It like suctions to the like. Yeah, yeah. You're you're always tried it removed. It was horrible. You're right. It's fucking disgusting though. Like I would need one that's so much smaller. What does Me it too. Taste it's like, so though. thick. It comes in a shot glass. Yeah. Cuckoo! Yeah. Yes, yeah. Esther Koo back in the house. Esther Koo is the one who gave me my diva cup. Esther, yeah, let's talk about this. No, it Esther, it's too small for our pussies. How do you get it up your tiny little big. vagina? Yeah, like it even hurts. when I crunch it in, it's hard to get it up. I know the diva ones are stiffer than yeah. the lunette cups. Lunette, is it good plastic? to know. Yeah. That's like yeah. the thinner. It's like That's rubbery. What you give me. Is it? Uh, don't now. leave. Duh. You're not leaving, right? Duh. I'm coming here. Oh, good. Yeah. Good, good. Go sit at Brian's chair. Oh, cool. Cuckoo in the house. We just hung out in San Francisco. That was fun. And then your creepy fan came and followed us oh around. God, creepy he, fan. he was just walking like 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 five feet behind us, and then we, we started to notice he was like following us. And then he's probably like, gonna listen. Who's this, to this fucking guy? And then yeah, Esther was nice like, "He's my he fan." Might be listening. Well, it was weird. We see you. We you know, know you're lonely. We get it. We love you. It's okay. I I don't know. I don't know when fans are being weird. What? I don't know when fans are being weird. So I, know. I just like was hanging you out don't? with him in Portland. Yeah, she oh, like invites him to things, and then it, and then but we she were like, him to things. you do. And he gives me vitamins, and you guys were like, vitamins. don't oh take God. them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, vitamins. that's right. Jesus. <laughs> but cool. Also, Literally, a cool shout out. Like an eight-year-old child, like he gave me vitamins. A shout <laughs> out. And his dick was in my ass, and I don't get it. I don't know when they're being weird. We have vitamins. to shout out to your brother. Oh, oh he's so cute. Oh, shout out to Cuckoo's yeah, brother yeah, 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 and your yeah. uncle, who's really into me. <laughs> this is all inside jokes for everybody not to get. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I still yeah. think about that sitcom, Koo. You should write it. Oh, you should write a sitcom Esther about my uncle's Airbnb. <laughs> she moves to LA to like de Koreanize it. Yeah, is that it's kind of racist? The premise? <gasps> no, not at all. No, I feel like she's like, you, we need an Asian sitcom. There's Fresh Off the Boat, which is like a totally different perspective because it's a family kind of thing. Jason, come sit on my lap. Oh, we well. ran out of chairs. Well, well, well. Jason, do your you and your brother fake people out all the time? Like we you already just... talked about that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because sometimes I'm like, is it Jason? Double you know, I'm nervous. Bangs. Have you ever fucked brother, the same person at the same time? Never. What? Wait, the what? Who's up right now? Twins, Red band. The boring twins. Red band. <laughs> I don't know. Who's it might be me. After. I don't know who's after Red it band. It might be me. You George. Guys, you guys figure it out. George, George Perez. Perez. Then me. Better. And then, and then are, you, who are you after? This part is and the me. most. This part is the most exciting I, part I'm for the. It's me, you, right? me, you, her. Oh, Wait, who is it? It's Jade, Julia, and me. Show right now? Okay. Tight. Yeah. Oh. What happened? Stage right now. Who's after Red Band? Um, I think it's George. Would you, would you guys believe you? Would you guys believe me if I said I'm on stage right now? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I had a lot of French fries. French Do you guys, fries. Uh huh. You was What's your thing with? You got a thing for French fries? Yeah. You know, carbs make me feel. I watched weird. Jade eat fries? French fries twice all day. A day. <laughs> Same. So, if anybody's wondering how Jade stays so fit, the answer is nobody knows. I should a lot. Hey, how come you're not saying that? How? <laughs> the answer is how Crohn's. Soon, how soon after you eat do you shit? It depends. Sometimes I eat one bite and I feel like I have to shit. Me too. Yeah, it's what crazy. Are you yeah. 
Like whatever I eat, if I have one bite, sometimes I'm just like, oh, I, have, I feel like it's pushing out, pushing out the old food that's in my stomach. It can't be the new food. This is yeah, crazy. I feel like my, in- really my intestines are like three inches. I long. do. Yeah, same. <laughs> Me too. I have really short. I feel like I have to shit all the time, all the time. Dude, yeah. I am shitting yeah. all day long. <laughs> <Yeah>. Nice. <laughs> like I don't even care about muting the phone when I flush yeah. the toilet anymore. I'm just yeah. like, yeah, I was this shitting. Me. Can't you tell by the echo in my bathroom? And we're live, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You're so much dirtier Rousey. than any of us. I c- I've been known to. Yeah. To do the thing <clears throat> that no one wants to. Wait, wait we were taking that? a bet. We were taking What's a bet on. The wait, thing by no the way. What's the thing that no one wants to do? Huh? What's the thing that no one wants to I do? I knew you were going to pipe up about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What? Is it butt stuff? Butt stuff? Well, I don't know. What is no? I feel like he's have, darker than what that. What do people not want to do? <laughs> he's like, like more theatrics, like lots of choking and death. Ass theatrics. Mm. Ass theatrics. It's a great name for I guess a one-man show. When it comes to <laughs> we were betting on what your dick looks like. Yeah, yeah. Can you old, <laughs> old leather face. I bet it looks like <laughs> <laughs> he barely survived the fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you have a Jacob survivor. It looks like Freddy Krueger. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's a, he's, I love Freddy Krueger. He's kind of funny, but he's still a nightmare. <laughs> he's been inside a lot of children, and he's burnt. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Don't fucked us. up, dude. Cool. Are you good it's at rolling joints? Yeah. It is. I am. Yeah. There's a, there's powdered weed right there. I'm naked on YouTube. We rolling? I'm trying, really? I'm trying yeah. to find the Wi-Fi it's here. Weed and crawling through an audience naked. Do you guys know the Wi-Fi here? I know. I don't. It's but Olive whose Garden something this? or another. I think isn't it hers? Weed? Oh yeah, that's my weed. Oh yeah, let's roll that weed. This <laughs> <laughs> weed, can you roll it? <laughs> I brought a I'll pipe. Can, I have you a got pipe. Papers, so. Fuck a pipe before I go on stage because then no after after. Pipe. You guys, I'm going to Periscope, but I'm not on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Great topic so far, everybody. Peace out. So, uh, so, as a professional podcaster, my, what I my can dick say this looks like. Yeah, we all bet. <laughs> like, not even listening what do you, anymore. What was your, uh, at a glance? Are I you think taping her? What I is think this? it's, uh, what is this? This is for the police report, you what fucking is witches. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one saying we didn't sign off on this yeah but we all think about and by the way you're not being think about your at holes. all we can clearly see that you're taping us my mother's us. watching this you don't think Let's about what our pun. pussies look like that's a thing that guys think about I, I think about I everybody's parts I all the time. Travel. I don't think I don't care what pussy what a pussy looks like to be honest. Yeah, we know we like a big I sideways do. one. I like yeah, a, you I, know I, you I, like I a prefer fat a one. big pussy. <laughs> really? Like yeah. puffy? No, just a big Me? fucking pussy, dude. Like, like long <laughs> and big and <laughs> like long <laughs> and do you oh like my God. what that means? And I want Everybody, there to be all right, so if there's like stomach, stomach, and then I want like a of a gun. A mesa. It's called a gun. A pubic a bone mesa that juts out. I'm not. I'm not kidding. Oh, that's like an old school body. That's we like a classic mesa. body. Shit. Like man. it's like a fupa. If you're lying down, no, not a fupa. But like there's like a pubic bone present. Can you draw it for us? <laughs> sure. <laughs> all, the, all the girls you wear, you fuck, like wear like what? extra okay, long yeah. panty liners. Now I feel. I don't know, but I, I just I found that I like a big vagina that is like yeah somewhere you still, can pass out. But it's, it's not, but it has, still has shit together. You know what I mean? Are you a big vagina with dignity? Job. Uh huh. Do you like want to sh- put your mouth on that? <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. I'd like to do that. Yeah. Tell us more. Big vagina. Yeah, I knew a girl whose pussy was like so blasted out, like it looked like a bomb, just like Jesus. Was well, no, it that's it not what I like. Through the, like. Yeah. Is that? No, 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 no. I just no, mean big, not like meaty. But I feel like the whole beat to it shit thing meaty. is a myth. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like yeah. the vagina is very resilient. No, no, no. I've it seen vid- I've seen I watch you like I love children. masturbation videos and sometimes you see a vagina that's like There's it's like ripped out. Yeah, but you don't know yeah, if I like that kind of porn. It came like that. Dude, that's crazy. Oh my it could have come like that. Yeah, I like it. Videos yeah, that's what I think. I think it comes like that. I think yeah. it comes like that. Sometimes vaginas like are just sloppy, and that's fine. I don't care. Like some of my friends would be like, "Oh, she's a great pussy," but like I don't. I, it doesn't. I never think about that. So if someone has a dope pussy, or you're like, "She was okay," I don't care like about the, the way pussy. that like it her being the dope. Opposite. The pussy doesn't necessarily matter, but like if it's a big pussy, that's a bonus. But. Yeah. <laughs> 
anybody say that? Yeah. I'm so into it. He loves Somebody a big said, pussy. These, I like a girl these people with two sound assholes. high. <laughs> you wouldn't like me then. <laughs> I mean, you have a small pussy? Just the tiniest. No. That's cute too. I'm down. Julia's down for whatever. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care. Wait, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Easy. I'm not down for whatever. Well, I mean, you're down for a lot. What is that? Mean? For a few, I, no a judgment. Big pussy, a big pussy equates to down for whatever for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, exactly. All right. I, Wait, I, I, I don't, I, I don't mean that in can a bad you, way. No, but can you dig more into that? You, what do you mean? I mean, like, is this your how you perceive me? Strata of attraction doesn't know certain judgmental boundaries. You'll try anything. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't have a type. Yeah. Like, I'm a Gemini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, like see me on So Retrograde. At So Retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> have you yeah. guys listened to So Retrograde? They have an event coming up. We do. It's actually it's full. It's full. Oh, just kidding. It's full. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to wait till the mo- <laughs> next movie. We'll be South by Southwest if you guys are going to be in Austin. Oh, yeah, dope. you're going. Mm-hmm. Wait, We're doing that? a. You told a us. She told us that. Yeah, no, I know, but I got We're doing confused. a talk about going, comedy but... and fashion and wellness. That's like great. The intersection of them. Wellness. Wow. Is there like crystals? We have Yo, there are, there are crystals. crystals. <laughs> we just gifted this black obsidian by uh, an energy healer today, actually. Beautiful. That's so, dope. Like wait, did guitar just start? Somebody start your psychic guitar? energy. Strumming the tar. <laughs> Jason <laughs> Collins is playing the guitar. Tight. Oh, I forgot he was here. Hey, Daddy. Uh, <laughs> hey, Daddy. Yeah, do, you, what do, you think, do you think we should go in there soon? I do. Yeah, let's do I would it. Like wait, to. who's next? We don't know. I think me. I think Jade. Oh, wait, well, let's go. Somebody, somebody, yeah. somebody, somebody go. And I'm after Jade. Yeah. Well, let's so all go. go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's be real, guys. Don't, don't you all go. Yeah, we can't all go. Can't One person. They're going to sit in. One person yeah, go. Jace, no, take my go. seat. I'm low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bye-bye. First. That's butt stuff. What's that? Butt, butt stuff. Butt stuff. What the fuck's that? Hold on. Suppository. Actually? No, it's not. What is it? Bone joint. <laughs> say Strong hi. bone. Say hi, Stephanie. Joint. It's calcium. Could For your dick. Me. Let me say hi to your dick pills. Maybe weird say fans that I love fans. so much. <laughs> I do love your fans. They're very loyal to you. Should we go? My yeah, one go. fan. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs> that guy. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, do we have to sit here and talk? Can I just abandon this, too? Yeah, why is everybody leaving? We have our I'm up, sir. Yeah, but there's only one person on stage at a time. Why are you guys all leaving? How long are your sets? Like seven minutes, I think. Right? We're trying to tape. We're all taping it. You're all taping it? Mm -hmm. It's a very light crowd. I know. (laughs) (laughs) I tried to tape it earlier. I've been trying to tape it nonstop. Oh. Just to run it. Oh. I get it. I get it. Yes. All right, let's get out What's here. up? I'm back. Hey, guys. Yeah. What's up? And we are back. We are back. Now that the children are gone. And uh, did I miss all the shit talking? Yeah, there was Literally. a lot. Literally. No, girls talking about shitting and pooping. That was amazing. Um, Comedy class. gold. Here comes right Comedy in. gold. They cornered me. Where were you? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they logged up on I me. I did hear Freddy Krueger, though. Yeah. Is, oh, no, no, Leatherface. They want to know my, I described it, my dick is... That's uh, so gross. That's it's so pretty funny. bad. <laughs> it's like, All right, so, you, uh, so people are blowing me up on Twitter saying that there's so much over-talking. I need to come back here, take control. It's out of control. What the fuck has been happening for the last 10 minutes? Well, let me give you a recap. I was on the couch back there listening. We were talking about uh, Jason's dick. Was it, they asked what it, leather face. They asked what it looked like, and that was his answer. <laughs> then we were talking. I did hear a conversation about pooping. A lot of conversations that's about pooping. That's my bed. <laughs> well, that's that's kind of like your thing, though. And then Stephanie was talking about her podcast. I was. We the were talking about we were talking about um, pussies, like the pussies. Oh, yeah. um, what they look like. Pussies, like not caring if a pussy is messy looking or long. I was long. on the chair. Julio or That's Julio, dick, however you say long. his name. Julio. <laughs> Julio. Julio. He likes huge pussies. So. Yeah. How do you say his name? I, I, I guess it wouldn't be Julio. So I had a really good set. I really enjoyed I really enjoyed my set. And I, I uh, have this new thing where I'm just doing all new stuff and, and, and uh, trying to combine it. It, was, it worked all great. And, like, uh, like stand-up comedy? Yeah, brand new stuff, though. Come on. Are you getting yeah, it on yeah, the road? Yeah, what no no I you know what what it is it's it's like when you do L A shows Ugh. and you're doing Ugh. like oh I, I'm doing the main room sold out main room of a comedy store mm-hmm. or I'm doing the Laugh Factory which I'm not not even used to yeah. but it's like sold out it's like I I feel like I can't do just like fucking around what it's I'm hard. like what I'm normally doing 
I'm doing. I'm That's like, oh, I'm doing like road set. Like, this. like yeah. I'm doing yeah. road set. Like I'm in Ohio right now, and these guys have never seen me ever. You know, yeah. so I do my road shit. And they're excited you showed up. So you've already got a leg in the door. Yeah. And if you're good, you're the hero for the night. It's getting used to not doing your road shit in, right. in, in do, L.A. Well, when you're doing the A rooms in L.A., first of all, it's hard to get stage time on them anyways. Yeah, right. and, it, and, and, it's, and it's hard to get anything more than eight minutes. So you're like, I'm going to do my A material. Yeah. Especially because there's not an empty seat in here. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to... Uh, I'm not gonna punish them. <laughs> it's so crazy because like I, my new shit's like Killing. not even like joke form yet. It's just me talking about how my girlfriend's been in three three car accidents in the first year I've been dating her. Mm. Like like it's just like going through those three car. Is that accidents. is that true? Yeah, and just saying it out loud, you're like, oh my god, this is a bit, and I didn't yeah. even write it as a bit. This is just what really happened. <laughs> you're in Final Destination, dude. Like you gotta be careful in the shower, not uh, turn on the TV when you're near the toaster. Or any- <laughs> Were you driving every time? <laughs> no, I was only on the second one. And the second one was it wasn't like her fault. It was just zero defense. <laughs> I then it, is, it, is her, it is her fault. No, I know. If you it, lose a game because of diff defense. I, I say on stage, it's like, I'm not saying it's her eyes. Don't, who, who was thinking that? <laughs> your hair is amazing. Is your, wait a minute. It's true, though. <laughs> Our eyes, like, I can't really. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't have, like, peripheral vision. Like, Asians need to be taught that when you're checking to see if another car is coming up on you on the left, you should do a full turnaround. You can't trust your peripheral. I had uh, a guy cut me off the other night. I was leaving the comedy store, and I, I uh, one of those SUV limo guys, or driver guys, cut me off. And then I had to slam my brakes on. The guy behind me starts flashing his brights at me, <laughs> honking his horn at me. Comes around, Uh-oh. comes around the side of me, yells at me to learn how to drive. Oh, no. And he was Asian. <laughs> he said, "Hey, guy, learn how to drive." And I just. I couldn't get racist with him. I wanted to. Don't get racist because it's actually might be a thing. It, here's this thing that's very popular in Korea. It's called uh, anime yeah. eye surgery. What? <laughs> White people turning this is, Asian? This is her before. No, she's just tired of they cut getting in corners. car accidents. <laughs> 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 it's oh just like my. this is before I've my insurance is fifteen thousand dollars a month. Lots of heavy eye goo, she said in the bottom of uh and that was actually real. Look at her eating huh? grapes. She didn't even know she doesn't Those even know fake grapes. Yeah, she doesn't even know Asia, fake. Asians love fake flowers no. and fake food. She couldn't see that they were they're real. Look, that's her sleeping. It's obviously daytime. She doesn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I was told to not get racist. Oh man, that laugh. Uh, now you wanna see what she looks like now, don't yeah, you? Yeah, this is Oh, oh look at that! She's Very a white bright guy. Eyes. Oh, you know how much better that is you <laughs> for look, driving. You, for driving, <laughs> but look at that! That's what you want. Look at those apples. Yeah, wow. but she looks like an anime character now. That's what you want, though. No. If you have dried this, up, dried up cum on her face. If you oh, have, boy. yeah. If you have the schoolgirl outfit on and a face mask. Hmm? Who's got the Son? face mask? Her? No, she. Look, she. They all have them. All right, all right, we'll do it. When do we go? All right, What's here's with all the face masks. Esther Koo, would you ever do that? <laughs> would you ever? Would you ever do that surgery? No, no, I don't like surgery. You don't Get like any kind of surgery. Wide. You've never had anything done. I mean, I've gotten my wisdom teeth out. Oh, oh no, that's yeah, pretty bad. Yeah. That's the worst feeling. That's not. Is that considered cosmetic? No. Wisdom teeth? No, That's called have, health. You got to get that yeah, done. Yeah, you have a rotting teeth. Yeah, tooth, the weird could, thing like, is that they were you. in my rectum. Oh. I mean, that's, <laughs> that doesn't even make that's sense. That's an Asian thing. <laughs> <laughs> can you pull up that YouTube video, Brian, of that, uh, yeah. that surgery? Can we see that? <laughs> Here we go. Uh, this is... No, but you know what? My cousin got that done, and it's really weird because... The eye thing? The eye thing. Oh, wow. In, when you go to her house on the walls are pictures of her when she was a kid uh, when she had like regular eyes wait regular eyes <laughs> yeah jason remember yeah, remember regular your first eyes. your first instinct not to go right right you're right you're right, you're right you're right you're right we gotta take a commercial break here's the clip you wanted <laughs> all right what can i do for you miss is this your first time okay so I imagine you have no idea what to expect. Not really. Don't worry, I'm not gonna bite you. Just lie down. Put your feet right in here. Okay. 
Are you sexually active? No, I just want to be checked out. Okay, then. She's hot. Why is she not? Their pussy has teeth. It's who said that? It needs I'm turning off their mic. Your mic is I off. I think there might be something weird going on inside. What? What's? What did you put in here? <laughs> so you guys saw that mirror, right? That's so weird. Wait, that's an actual. It's actually what was that? Of me. That's lethal. Dentata. What? It's Latin for teeth. Come on. I swear to God. It's what's inside me. She has teeth in her vagina. Yeah. Chelsea said it 20 minutes ago. But is it I evil? Know, I Did I you thought, know that already, it or? No. Is this based on reality? No. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, oh what's my happening God. in this room? Man? I don't know. I'm turning off both second and third <laughs> mic. <laughs> oh my God! Every rose has its thorns is the tagline for hey, that movie. It's hey, actually and it's actually not too bad. It did win a lot of awards. Have you seen it? No. Whoa. I'm very. I'm very curious. <laughs> Spicer did. I. Oh, Oh, it's actually turn off your mic. Huh? I actually turn off your mic. Oh, no. I, dr- I dropped my box set pun in the middle of my what, mic. What did you say? I turned my say? mic off. Oh, I just said it's a beautiful Criterion collection. It has a nice box set. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's funnier the third time. Are you doing yeah. selfie? Are you doing I do like how fast you I'm were with it, though. Like, you were on that clip. I made a dumb joke about someone getting their wisdom teeth removed, exactly. actually happening it, and yeah. boom, done. That's what I try to do. I mean, it's usually easier when I'm, I have a better setup. This is like, I just got a bunch of new equipment here at Death Squad Studio. It's my portable studio where I can do 4K on the on the road pretty much. But huh. I'm testing out this Roland uh, V-1HD video switcher, and it's already falling apart. Like, the knobs just pull off. Like, I've already lost one knob, and I've only had it for like a month. It just fell off. You got to uh, do a product review on that, though. Oh, that's what I'm doing right now, there son. There you go. Uh, I, I have an update. Oh, well, yeah. You were on stage having a great set. Yeah. I, uh, I got my first horsey in Zelda. So <laughs> I know. Who, who had a better set? Oh, that's, <laughs> you, that's, uh, so what happened? Walk us through your horsey. Well, I'm exploring this world. I find these stables. These kids tell me about how to tame wild horses. I'm exploring the world a little more. What do I see in front of me? A herd of wild horses. I sneak down into the tall grass. I approach very slowly so that my noise meter doesn't set them off. I get behind, I jump on, and then every time the little horsey does what I want him to, there's a button. It has a soothe button, and I pet him and let him know now, I'm doing so what I want him to do. Now, please weird. tell me, please tell me, because I think I already know the answer. You pre-researched what to do when going no, to the horse. No, no, I'm, I'm playing the game. I go in cold for games like this. Oh, man. Somebody on my Periscope said, is he 12? What is he talking That's about? He's on the fly. This is what I'm talking about, the new hotness. See, 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 this is what he was doing. He was first floating around on this little little glider. Now, you got the glider, right? You, yep, you master yep. glider. Yep. Uh, you're floating around. Very interesting, when they showed this game off two years ago at E3, the glider was more of a feather. Yep. And it's uh, they did a really good job with adding it making it look a little bit better uh other than that though this and the wii u uh version of the game almost completely exactly the same let's skip ahead and see uh finding an actual horse. oh there we go there's some hot horsey action right, here we go here's yep. a horse right here that, that was me that was exactly what i did wait yeah buddy there you go yeah did you pet it yeah you, you, see, you have a pet button soothe l this and is, what do you gain? The trust of the horse? From mm-hmm. Yeah. When it does what you want it to, you have to tell it that it's doing you, good thing. And then it becomes thing. your buddy and you go on a journey with it? Yeah. And you can jump off and it'll follow you around. It becomes your little... What's the... You need this, though. You must have the horse. That helps you get... The world is fucking What huge. is the goal in this game? To defeat Ganon, the evil that is corrupting the world that will uh, wipe out the whole village of... I think they're still calling it high rule for this world, and you are the chosen one that is awoken from some. It's a it's a hero's journey, right? It's now, Star Wars. It's the classic hero's journey. Oh, did you just compare this to Star Wars? Is Zelda a person or a place? Zelda is a, the princess, Female. and it's the girl, the Legend of Zelda, and you are Link. Nintendo has this weird thing I, where I'm they Link? like they the really player. like to oh. surprise you with the sex of people. <laughs> like like Metroid's a woman, Zelda's a girl, Luigi has b- all three. <laughs> What? <laughs> that's 
great. All right, let's wrap this shit up, though. Uh, where can people find you, Jason Collins? You could find me always at the Comedy Store. I'm at the Comedy Store. I'm at the Improv. I'm at the Comedy Magic Club in Rosa Beach. Uh, I, when is, is this live right now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm headlining the Irvine Improv Wednesday the 8th at 8 p.m. If you guys want to come see me there. Fuck yeah. You can get free tickets on my website, jasoncollings.com. Go for it. That's awesome. Uh, Rouse. Yeah. I actually had Top some, that, bro. some shows. I'm in uh, Vancouver April 1st. When are you going to take me to Vancouver? And then, uh, when are we going to go to Death Squad, Vancouver? You need to go Death Squad. I'm going to Denmark in September and Sweden, Germany, Poland. Wow. But That's go to awesome. jaserouse.com. I got awesome. a, bunch, a bunch of dates this year, finally. No relation to Rhonda. No, the same name, Rousey. But one of them's still working. Oh, boom, Rousey. Boom, 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 boom. Christian Spicer, besides hitting you up on no video games with the, <laughs> our new video game system, there's not one game that we're multiplying together tonight. No. Uh, what? Where can people find you? Well, if you like, you want, I do a video game podcast called DLC. It's 5x5.tv slash DLC. I co-host it with Jeff Kanata. Uh, Twitter's an easy way to get in touch with me as well as at Spicer. And then I do another small geeky show called At Least 20 More Minutes that is at patreon.com slash Christian Spicer. Do you ever have guests on your video game show? Yeah. I, why dude, why can't I through, be on it? Dude, I'll bring my collections. Your, look through your text. You I audition. asked you so many times. Oh, really? But I probably ask you too late at night. Or it might be my other phone number. I have so many phones. No, it's get, this one. We've okay. talked. But yes, let, yes. Now, oh, man, I is, suck. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> I really do. So, like, though? returning texts and messages, I feel so bad because, like, I'm always like, I, I, I read them when I'm. Are you taking off? Yeah, I'm going to the store. Yeah, me too. Okay. Later, later, buddy. Do you want to. We're doing shout outs right now. We're okay. closing the podcast right, right now. Oh, uh, no, no. Right. Uh, I forget what I was just saying, but uh, it's Mondays at eleven. You're not good at returning texts. Usually, oh, yeah. usually say you're not available, but it's Mondays at eleven. Oh Come yeah. Oh, that's because of kill time. Yep. Yeah. No. A.M. Whatever. We'll figure oh. it out. Oh. Ew. Yeah. Uh, you're right. Mm. Mm-hmm. Spicer on Twitter. Like, you need any more Twitter followers? Yeah. Come hang out. Yes. He George. Needs, he Perez. needs more active followers. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we all do. George Perez. Uh, new podcast out right now. Yes, uh, George Perez stories. It's on iTunes, SoundCloud, and all that other sh- good stuff. Oh, hold on, let me turn up Chelsea's mic. There you go. And I started again. Why you took <laughs> you, you turned it down on her? Uh, March thirty first. <laughs> March thirty first, Fiesta Hall. We got eighty tickets left, My dude. Hey, we already sold four hundred and twenty tickets, dude. Wow. March 31st. Fuck Fiesta yeah. Hall. Oh, I can't Fiesta wait. Hall where? Whittier. Nice. You know, Mexicans can come out, dog. Oh, I can't wait to that. It's always fun. They're like, Brian Redband, orderly. He's a gangster. <laughs> I got a new set. I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm on fire. I'm, I can't wait. Yes. Uh, so that's going down. And uh, I, did you do a, you, you did a new set tonight, didn't you? Yes. Or? Yeah. I did about 80% new set. 80%. That's cool. How'd it go? You know what? It, 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 um, it went good. I thought it was going to go better at places where i thought it went and it's weird i i don't know it just it does that i worked it out weird in my room <laughs> <laughs> that's the best place to work at. yeah uh, my fucking dog is just he laughs at everything so <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know my dog yeah, yeah. dude <laughs> george p comedy yes. on twitter yes thanks george i'll see you in thank a you sec. brother i'll see you all, all right, right. esther kiwi yo <laughs> i mean <laughs> You can listen to George Perez on my podcast, Coup and the Gang. People loved his episode. I mean, you just hypnotized Esther with this. <laughs> you know, she's just yeah. in the middle of her plug. She's like, I'm out. There's I've been a Pomeranian. On, I've been on Esther's podcast, and we've talked about this a million times. The best part about Esther's podcast is staying to the end. <laughs> staying to the end. <laughs> you, guys, you guys all know that, right? Inside right. joke. Yeah. Yeah, Esther masturbates for the last... 15 minutes Ew. of a different Well, process. now, uh, that's, you don't do kind it anymore? Of, that's kind of been discontinued. Oh, because is it because I talked about it too much? <laughs> no, it's because yeah, too, many that comedians, my brother. <laughs> too, too many comedians were listening. <laughs> <laughs> but you could still get all the back issues on iTunes. <laughs> 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 Subscribe now. <laughs> <laughs> you could order your own personalized podcast. <laughs> Oh, my God. Snapchat. <laughs> All right, Esther Koo. Um, Funnycoo.com, Koo and the Gang podcast. Follow me on Twitter, Esther Koo Koo. Koo Koo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, if you are around L.A. this Sunday, 
I have a crazy show. Like, I'm not even fucking win with you. Like, if you are listening to this right now and you don't go to it, you're going to be so pissed off at yourself because there is a huge secret guest that's coming. I can't tell you who it is. Did they finally tell you who it was? Yes, but I can't tell anyone else who it is. Uh, and it's uh, don't tell a great me. show. It's Joey mind. Diaz, Jeff Ross, Tony Hinchcliffe, Tiffany Haddish, me, and it's going to be Reagan and Watkins, and it's opened up by Frank Castillo, you know, winner of the roast battle. But the secret guest, I kid you not, it's probably going to be, if the secret guest shows up, let's just say, if the secret guest shows up, it's going to be the biggest secret guest we've ever had, ever. Who could it be? Who could it be? I don't know. But you go right now to my Twitter, or go to improv.com for that. Uh, all right, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. See Bye. Ya.